you know, there's like this uh, just regular crony type nigga, right? Yeah. And then so like these niggas like, you know, main they the main characters, you feel me? So they like, boom, they hit this dude twice and he about to die. He got one HP. But he was like, hey, oh my nigga Jim Bob, bro, because they had just killed his homie. He was like, oh my nigga Jim Bob, y'all go pay <laughs> oh, Jim Bob, bro. So he started fighting back with one HP, bro. I'm talking about, I was like, yeah, um, uh, I forgot great sword, stabbed him with a spear. I was like, because his HP was at one. I was like, he basically, you holding him up. If you weren't there, he'd be falling <laughs> on your spear. And he over here boxing people on this spear. I think he took out about... 15 HP before they got his one because they just like kept missing this shit. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> and every time he was just like, oh, Chip Bob Crane, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going. <laughs> and so he, he got respect from everybody for being like literally the lowest level of random nigga you can run into yeah. that wow. was going hard on some anime Deku type <laughs> shit with one HP, but he died in the end. Damn. You know, <laughs> that's just how it be. Um, Tandy from Dr. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> they don't taste the same. Though. Oh, this is good. <laughs> Smoke, hey. <laughs> Three. Wait, two. can y'all see me? I think so. Yeah. I'm the black nigga. Yeah. Oh. All right. <laughs> Three, oh, wow. two, one. All right. Welcome to the Afro How Taco is Podcast. <laughs> Episode, is this 24? Uh, 23. Yep. The podcast Maybe. where we talk about anime, manga, and everything else. I'm Richard Good Guy, aka MGG, and I'm joined here by my co host who will introduce himself starting right now. What up? It's Deuce. What's going on? Jugger here. Hello, it's Player 5. What up? What up? What up? I am Gramps. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, Rips, this I nigga Charles go, go. You got a box now. The gauntlet. Uh, you say you 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 your name before you did. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. He said he's not a Tell podcaster me. officially known as Grant. <laughs> not so bad. <laughs> Alright, uh, on to some story times. I guess we're going with another D&D the story time with Player 5. I guess Might so. as well just make this a segment. <laughs> <laughs> D&D. If people got story times, you know, we go, we go. But, uh, so yeah, we played D&D yesterday. Um, I'm still the uh, DM. It was pretty, pretty interesting. Um, so we we're still dealing with the situation with a bunch of people um, attacking this one town. Uh, by this point in time, our uh, my, the... the heroes if you will the people playing they all kind of like tired they didn't use all their spells they kind of like do we gotta go out there and save people you know being real scumbags um so there's one person um no so they decide they're gonna go out there and save people um one group goes to this mill because they saw some people trying to set it on fire another group go to the uh to the little market because they was gonna see what they could find um the long story short the people that went to the mill thought it was sweet got beat the fuck up this one nigga had an anime moment so imagine like you know there's like this uh just regular crony type nigga right yeah and then so like these niggas like you know main they the main characters you feel me so they like boom they hit this dude twice and he about to die he got one hp but he was like hey oh my nigga jim bob bro because they had just killed his homie he was like oh my nigga jim bob y'all go pay <laughs> oh, jim bob, bro so he started fighting back with one hp bro i'm talking about i was like yeah um uh i forgot great sword stabbed him with a spear i was like because his hp was at one i was like he basically you holding him up if you weren't there he'd be falling <laughs> on your spear and he over here boxing people on this spear i think he took out about 15 HP before they got his one because they just like kept missing this shit. Yeah, <laughs> and every time he was just like, Oh, Chip Bob Crane, <laughs> I ain't going. <laughs> and so he, he got respect from everybody for being like literally the lowest level of random nigga you can run into yeah. that wow. was going hard on some anime Deku type <laughs> shit with one HP, but he died in the end. Damn. You know, <laughs> that's just how it be. Um, I don't know if he got a podcast nickname so dorian 
his ass got captured because he thought it was sweet. He he like a glass cannon. Yeah. So like he just be blowing niggas up in one hit. He thought it was sweet, and then they ambushed that nigga. He was He's like, a glass Whoa. cannon. Yeah, like a glass cannon is like a oh like a, a magic metaphor. Like, oh yeah, okay. like you do hella damage, but you like you weak as hell. Yeah. So he just like walked through, thought it was sweet, and then he got ambushed, and he was like, "Oh, y'all niggas gonna jump me up." <laughs> <laughs> Beat that nigga up. Door, uh, or uh, Great Sword came through and was like, yeah, nigga, uh, I'm going to save my nigga. Then once it was like 5v1, so he started losing. He looked at him and was like, nigga, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> so this nigga got like a whole kidnap, bro. Like they took damn. that nigga off. Um, meanwhile, at the market, they find out like the um, the like, the like market nigga had like a secret business. Like he was selling skooma. Yeah. Which if you don't know, skooma is like this drug from uh, like the Elder Scrolls series. Oh, okay. it's, it's like crack. Oh, yeah. So this nigga was selling crack on the low. Uh, <laughs> and so I don't know if y'all remember previously I had told y'all that Dorian had robbed the whole town. Oh, like that true. nigga was like, oh yeah, he took all their money. Yeah. So the next day the king was like, bro, we broke. The mill got set on fire because they just failed to protect the mill. He's like, yeah. we got no food. We got no money. I don't know what to do. And he's like, hey, we found this uh, crack ledger. You, you can start slinging dope, nigga, to get your city, right? <laughs> and so they find like all this skooma. Get it back to the king, and they like, all right, bro, start slinging dope. That's the only way your kid, your town gonna have some money to eat. So wow. now it's a dope deal in town. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the only other funny thing that happened is Hallie is like a half dragon nigga, mm-hmm. and so she, you know, she be talking tough like, yeah, I'm a dragon. I'm beneath fighting weak niggas. Y'all niggas ain't honorable. Woo woo woo, talking that shit, you know. And then so this other half dragon nigga was like, hey, bro, come out. I want y'all strongest warrior right now. We running the ones. That's it. Ain't nothing. Be- we boxing. So she get out there. She trying to box that nigga. And she like the buffest nigga in the group, right? So it's like the Hulk come up and Thanos mix that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> she got beat the fuck up in front of that nigga. <laughs> 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 beat the fuck up, bro. Hey, that nigga, it was for real no. just like that. We like, all right, our strongest nigga, Dragon vs. Dragon, bro. Let's yeah. get cracking. She oh. me, 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 got drunk. <laughs> oh. And she started talking shit because he was a blue dragon. She a gold dragon. She was like, ugh, blue, such a dirty color. <laughs> <laughs> Talking mad shit, got a world star huh? in front of the whole kingdom. Damn. Beat her eyes. And so after that, she started walking around like this. <laughs> and then I think the you last thing is the actual show. actually watching this. The last, the last thing that happened is like uh, she wanted to like kick down a door, and then she rolled. And you know you got roll. Sometimes you get like a one or something. So she got a one, and that just bitch was like boop. Like you know the door didn't get yeah. kicked down, and then the next nigga just bust that shit down. And it was just like, she just kept taking L's. So she just like lost all her confidence, you know? Because she was like, oh yeah, I'm a confident half gold dragon nigga. (laughs) Then got mixed in front of everybody. And then it was just bad. Damn. (laughs) So she was fairy tale without the friendship. For sure. Friendship wouldn't work. Because everybody here is scoundrel, you feel me? Everybody out here looking for themselves. It's only her and one more person who an assassin. Uh A good person. Everybody else is (laughs) Of course, yeah. Of course the assassin. (laughs) The assassin is an assassin for good. <laughs> <laughs> Assassin's Creed looking boy. But yeah, uh, that's what happened. It yeah. was funny to see niggas get uh, corrected. All right. Stay home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stay humble. <laughs> Sit down. That was it. That's the moral of the story. Stay Ooh. the fuck humble. Then um, sit down. That's true. Yeah. Or a weak ass nigga with one HP wank. Run that fade with you. Jim Bob. On Jim Bob. On Jim Bob. I can't the name of the episode. On Jim Bob. On Jim Bob. We should record these D and D's and be like, "Hey, this the episode they on Jim Bob." Because that nigga went that so much. Yeah, I wonder if people do that already. Yeah, niggas do yeah. like the, uh, sessions. They record these mm-hmm. sessions, do shit. Ain't they no like niggas do. doing it though, so that would definitely be like a new market. Yeah, we can animate, like how we just oh, like, like they have a nigga animated. That yeah, be that'd dope. be too fire. That'd be amazing. That's Cause a good like, idea. I have to say, my that. nigga on Jim. We don't know his name. His name on Jim Bob, bro. <laughs> <laughs> on Jim Bob was going oh, hard. Jim Bob. He need his own anime, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, so that, that's not one of y'all, huh? I thought that that person was one of you, like y'all playing the game. No, we they was trying to kill that nigga. He was like a random. Oh, like scumbag shit. nigga. Oh, yeah. I thought that was Zika. <laughs> no, dude. Oh, yeah. I don't even funny. All right. On to some uh, decent news. Uh, what you got for us, man? Uh, so, one second. So, for starters, 
Kickstarter. I believe I'm a start the uh, cut the check session with <laughs> uh, Cyber Shoes. So that's something that I noted on uh, on Kickstarter. Mm. It's basically you know how people would be playing um, VR games and they would essentially end up actually trying to run in the game, running into a wall, fall down the stairs, or some random shit. True. Mm -hmm. So with these, you can supposedly put these. Um, it's basically kind of like skates or whatever, where if you're sitting in a chair, you can actually simulate walking forward or, I guess, eventually jumping if the technology advances a bit more with them. Um, with these, with this new product called Cyber Shoes, and I guess if people actually start to get deeper into the uh, cyber market or well, the AR market, then you can expect something like these to definitely be yeah. on top of it. Oh, that's gonna suck. I yeah, mean, gonna yeah, I think I it'll know, make like, it'll make people play video games less. Cause I mean, now I'm doing a workout. Oh, what, what is think about how much <laughs> walking you do in a first person <laughs> shooter, like Pokemon Go. Real talk, bro. yeah. Pokemon Go was like, oh, they tried to sell that's us it? like a workout thing. Uh -huh. mm. is it your yeah, I mean, what if they just sell like it? as an Cyber option? Cyber shoes is like you know uh, I mean? to pair with virtual reality, so like you can do the walking motions. Right. But to me, I'm oh, like, you damn. Be, you be sitting down and just doing this? Yeah. Yeah, just That's like rolling. I'm saying, I feel like it's going to, I mean, it'll shorten the time, but I think people play certain video games or they just won't use it. Like, mm. it because I'm it like. Easier. I think, it, I feel like it makes it easier for you to be able to, to like run in a certain direction while facing a different direction and like shoot at somebody, for example. Uh huh. So I, that's something I can, that's just one application where I can see it being useful. It's easier a than a using game. a controller, you're saying? Well, because, you know, if you're playing VR, it's not exactly the same as you just sitting and looking at a TV screen using both analog <laughs> sticks to shoot. Um, I believe you essentially are like using different fingers to, I guess, use different types of weapons or parts of a weapon. Yeah. And if you have to keep one finger uh, designated as the running and another finger designated for uh, spinning around and so forth, it kind of limits you mm -hmm. on on certain things but if you can just actually do the turning yourself with your body while you're sitting in that chair and, and run in a specific direction or turn however you want while using your other hands freely to more closely closely simulate uh, real life then I feel like it might I feel like that would probably make it a bit easier mm. I mean I'm not saying that I would get it anytime soon Hell, I don't even have a VR headset but um, just something that I found to be a little bit interesting Yeah, I don't, I mean, think, just I don't think like this type of VR is ever going to truly take off. Uh -huh. uh, just because um, <clears throat> I feel like, at least when you, when you play games, a lot of stuff is kind of dictated by like the uh, like the pro players uh, stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like what's meta, what, like what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. A lot of that kind of get dictated by what pro players do. And I really can't see pro players adding in like that extra like foot function, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I feel like that's like, way more work than moving your fingers around yep. yeah um but i could see if we get like fully immersive like vr like you know like anime and shit mm -hmm. i think that is when vr would actually like like it may rise up and get better but it won't ever be above consoles and pcs until that happened then it's gonna be like the iphone true yeah. oh shit them things came out with touch screen it's off mm -hmm. Yeah, Pretty I think that's like the. Thought. I think that's the debate here. Is um, in my head, I see like what they're trying to do with VR is is like long term, eventually going to be a replacement to the video games we know today, mm -hmm. and that's why I think like those shoes don't matter. But if VR and regular video games are two separate things, then and they always will be, then I see why somebody would want them shoes because then it's like, well, yeah, in the VR world, I enjoy using my feet, but I felt like if. If, like, the goal of VR is to replace how we play video games today, like, why would I ever want to, like, do work? Like, I'm doing, I'm playing video games to not, like, do everything. So, why would I want to add that, that headache to it? But, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like I, <clears throat> one, I think it's, like, the start. It's, like, another good step towards, like, kind of the end goal of how hot VR could be. But I think a problem, at least with this specifically, is that you're still sitting down. I mean, I don't know, but like yeah. when I like picture, even in like a rolly chair, a really nice chair, right? Even if you like, if you try and like, you know, do the VR stuff and then also walk, but you need to sit down to do it. 
it's not it's just it just ain't gonna work right you know mm-hmm. what i mean you go you're you're gonna want to stand up yeah it's based on like normal physical functions that the body mm-hmm. does right so i feel like maybe if um this was more like a uh in like a in a in an arcade you know what i mean like a dave and busters or something yeah. and instead of like even just sitting down you're on like a kind of like a roller coaster standing standing up kind of seat like um, a little supported like right or well, yeah, at least it's like closer to like the standing up yeah. position i feel like that would actually be pretty what's hot. that movie uh, called but, um you can ready like, player one yeah ready, ready player, player one, one. Like, like that yeah it, 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 that would be like that'd cool. be actually pretty legit. Yeah. yeah i would actually play games but I don't know. Like when you're still in that trance, be like, I'm just gonna be like, oh snap, and then get up and then trip. Like, yeah, <laughs> I, I see me doing that so. Uh, see, but, I just I couldn't see like. I don't think VR is ever gonna get to the point where you physically have to do stuff because now you just alienated a gigantic portion of video game players. Like, mm. right, we're all able-bodied mm. people uh, yeah, with enough true. money that can sit here and say, that. like, yeah, that'd be lit. But I'm guessing niggas that spend a little more time on games than us are probably not all as able-bodied, and that's gonna send niggas off. Like, mm. I th- it can be a, a niche thing, but I don't think that is ever going to become like the main thing yeah. just because it's going to alienate the majority of niggas that's playing the game. Yeah. Right. right. Like, I don't think it's going to happen. Unless niggas get fully immersed, like, oh, you just lay there and do the game. Yeah. Ain't going to happen. That's what I'm waiting on. <laughs> that's what I'm waiting on. Right. I'm, 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 I'm on my overlords. I'm telling y'all right now. Oh, my God. Y'all won't catch me in the Sword on Light game if they have full immersion, bro. I'm you won't? For something else. No, I don't know why I want to do that. Fuck with me, bro. I feel like I, I pick a different style of game. I think. A shooter? I just don't know why. I don't want to be in no I don't want to be in a shooter shit. either. I don't. But I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, sort of like you you gonna be in a harem game, bro? I already yeah. might be that. I don't know what game, game you play. You feel like getting bitches? All you do is get bitches in the game, bro. Oh, what's that manga called? Where like he like go capture capture girls or something like that? I know what you're talking about. I remember. Oh, God uh, high school? fuck. The, no, 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 the, no, uh, no, I don't think he um, does it. The, no. the, the world only God knows? Something like that. I don't know. It's like, like every chapter is like a girl. He got to like, like, he got to gather somehow. You oh, know, right, right. right. <laughs> man, I think that's what you're talking about. That's what you're going to be playing. Come on, you're pimping, bro. Big bitches. Homie even got the glasses, too. That's probably his real life. Pretty much, bro. Just pull up. Hey, bro, you just start making the code for that now. So when they make the system, you're like, oh, you just start making the code for that now. So when they make the system, you like, oh, yeah, ain't got your best stuff. Yeah, I'm like, we're getting bitches one through four with. Hit them with, oh, that's some collector shit. Like, that's going to be hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> I got the hype, then make a dumbed down version. I'm like, hey, yeah, you get getting bitches four with. Like, $2,000 a copy. Yeah. Bro. Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I heard those combat games, maybe, maybe not. But, like, I don't. My thing is, I see it the way I play free for play games today, where I'd be in there super excited, and then I'm going to fall off. And then mm-hmm. go back in the world, see everybody like level ninety nine, and be like, mm-hmm. "Next game." So <laughs> that's how. And first person shooters, I suck at, so I would never want to go yeah. into mm-hmm. that world. Plus, that community is trash. Like, you got to think about how these communities are gonna translate to that world. And I fucking hate that because yeah. now it's like you're. I know you're not shit in real life. But like we're almost you're in to, real you're life. About to mix me, bro. Yeah, but we're well, almost in real life, so I can't like. So I would like try to throw hands at you, but I actually can't throw hands at you in this world. So <laughs> it's still like I'm still gonna take an L. Like yeah, no. Bro, I know exactly what you mean about that, like like getting off track thing. Cause like so, there's this MMO out there called uh, Elder Scrolls Online, mm-hmm. and like so when it first dropped, like day one, like all three of us had got it, and it was just like fun because like niggas ain't know like all the ins and outs of the game. Yeah. Like motherfuckers was just playing, and you couldn't just hop online and be like, "Yo, how do you do this?" Like right. I literally waited one. three real life days to become a vampire. You feel me? Uh-huh. And nowadays niggas will sell you a vampire bike for like two hundred, two thousand gold. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just like, well, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like back. In my day, that that made that made it part of the fun, like doing all this shit, grinding for it. Now, as you get in, every nigga got a a, a YouTube on how to do this, do that, yeah. and it's just lame now. So it's like everybody walking around with level a million armor, <laughs> and I'm on the squire and shit. You know, like. So yeah, that would be. So I hate the fall off with those games. Mm. They should put niggas on servers based on your level. Mm. That'd be decent. But I stay on the same server all the time. Then I'm be a blackbeard ass nigga where I'm just like, <laughs> new niggas coming in, like, yeah, I've been here. Nigga, you still level 12? Yeah, I know all yeah, this. Yeah, I just, I know basically all this. I just don't want to level up. Rocket League. Huh? That's basically how they do it on Rocket League. They give you different rankings based on 
how much you've been playing a game and so forth and how many wins you got and all of that. Yeah. And they eventually just keep you ranked with people or keep you in matches against people that are within <clears throat> your rank. Yeah, I would uh, just not want to level up, though. I'd just be at, like, the level right before that tier and then just let everybody, like, kill steal me. I'd be like, mm-hmm. nah, you go ahead, that, bro. Yeah, you know, you ever watch Air Gear? You said what? You ever watch Air Gear? You uh, yeah, nigga, Go. that's what you tried I tried to, to start it. You said what? I read the manga for it. Sweet Mask ass nigga. Mm. No, because Sweet Mask is like, you know, stopping people from leveling up. I just don't want to level up. Oh, okay. Sweet Mask is like, nah. Mm-hmm. Like y'all can't y'all have to get through me. I'm like, no, y'all could go ahead past me. I'm just not following y'all. It'd be like, oh yeah, you, <laughs> you cool, you finna go through. Ride, I'm like, nigga. okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh, y'all niggas wanna be great, nigga. I just wanna live. I'll be the wrongest nigga in, in server one. Like <laughs> Oh, y'all yeah. hear about this nigga, he level ten? Yeah. We heard he got the knowledge of a level I'm the goblin slayer. Well yeah. <laughs> but his skills oh, actually I'm, level I'm ten. I'm the goblin slayer of uh, server one, bro. Then they like, oh yeah, I can't beat you. I got the scroll though. Yeah. Um, and they, uh, apparently he's just like walking through a field of flowers. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm really just in there for the immersion part, bro. Wow. Find this nigga cutting down flowers. That's how I feel about shit. Like same thing with Fortnite. Like when I played Fortnite, that was like what I enjoy doing, which is why I feel like I'm just not good for these worlds because I don't want to do the game half the time. I want to do like the other shit. Like Fortnite, I just like building shit. So like if I was in that game. I'd just be like building shit, and then people would be like, hey, aren't you supposed to be shooting people? I'm like, no, I really just, just like building this house, bro. You ever just do that though? Just like, <laughs> hey, we not fighting, we just gonna try and build some shit? Yeah, I tried, but people didn't fuck with me when I did. They said they killed me. I did, bro. <laughs> like, so I had built this like wrong. real high tower or whatever, right? And then, as soon as I built it, someone just shot like the floor of it, and then I fell to my death. What a dick. And I'm just like, <laughs> All right, well, fuck it. Oh, that Apparently, <laughs> yeah, there was a, because I was just reading this on a crack article like a month ago, um, there was like this event in Fortnite where I guess they're all supposed to like go and see some fireworks or some shit like that, right? So a bunch of people joined in the server and built a bunch of shit to like sit there and enjoy this thing. And one person said, fuck that and use that to get like the highest like kill count in the game. Because oh, while they were no. all looking at that shit, he just like, I don't know, shot like the, I guess the platform they were all on or something mm-hmm. like that. He shot that shit so that they all <laughs> fell, to, fell to their death. So that's I'm just crazy. like, there's what? dicks in all of these games. That's I'm waiting so for a game where it's like, you can't really be a dick. That's why I just you picked the game. You Japanese server, bro. I, I guess. You can't do it in America. Because you, you basing that off the Japanese anime life, bro. Yeah. Where niggas get to go in these immersive games and chill. They yeah. need to make one of these anime games where it's like, oh no, we on American server. Niggas kill you and be like, <laughs> tea bag in your body. <laughs> Trash. You get on there like, hey, buddy, uh, can you help me? Shut up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> American server shit. Bro. And that's the thing. You'll be friends with, like, just like Ready Player One or whatever, I guess. Like, because all those guys, they were, like, not necessarily who they were in the game or mm-hmm. something like that. So that shit, too. You, like, hanging out with this big black dude or whatever, and y'all think y'all vibe, y'all match and shit, and then you find out it's, like, a white female. Like, wow. in real life, and you just kind of, like... What? You been saying nigga, how much? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, this whole time? Like, <laughs> a similar thing happened to me in League of Legends. Like, uh, when I was in college, I was playing with this dude. We playing for a while, and then he, like, finally get on the comms, and it's like a little kid. And I was like, oh, damn, we've been having good games, bro, but I can't play with you no more. And he was like, what? Why not? I was like, you like... Well, he was like, no, I'm 13. I was like, I was like that's that, irrelevant. That I'm like, grown, bro. And he was just like, no, it's whatever. I was like, I feel you, but I'm not about to play with a little kid. And also, like, I'm cold, trying to be a teacher. He was like, I mean, I'm not cold, so we was equally high. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I was just like, it's just a video game to me, so I'm good, bro. And he was just like, Ugh. Bye, you probably heard that nigga's feel. I don't give a fuck. For the rest of his life, we bro, ain't for traumatic experience. experience. He's still trying to find him to this day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I didn't find yeah. me when you like 20 something. Yeah. Remember yeah. me, nigga? Because <laughs> <laughs> you know this ain't no happy ending. Boo, 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 boo. I wonder if R. Kelly plays League of Legends. 
Oh, hell no. It's Kel. It's Kel. It's Serena. That's his username. It's Kel. <laughs> hey, you know I'm surprised by that. Yo, the Pied Piper. It's Kel. I just yeah. wonder how many video games he probably plays online, bro. Um, he got to. He got to play at least one. That nigga illiterate, bro. He definitely don't know how oh, video fuck. game works. Come on, bro. Absolutely. I would be surprised. You got to be literally to, to play video games. But game. R. Kelly, an old nigga, bro. I would be surprised <laughs> if R. Kelly ever played a video game in his life. <laughs> like, R. Kelly's okay, simple. You know that nigga came to my high school before, right? Yeah. Oh, really? You know what this nigga did for about three hours? <laughs> that nigga shot basketballs and had his cronies keep passing him the ball. He was missing. Imagine sitting in the gym, bro, just airballing threes <laughs> for like two hours. Damn. That nigga weird, bro. Like he just like, oh yeah, I'm having fun. Mr. Freeze, <laughs> R. Kelly, a weird nigga, bro. Wow. Guaranteed. They ain't saying nothing to nobody. Yo, heads up. Who I scared the shit out of me? I literally, bro, I ain't the Flash. Like I wasn't gonna make it. I thought you were. You ain't got the speed. I scared the shit out of me because my eyes are closed when you said that. Oh, so bro. then I just heard something drop and I was like, oh, it's about to die. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Well, I thought all y'all died, so. <laughs> Grace, uh, almost. Like, almost. Heads up. Here's the sound. We went to the straight <laughs> worst thing, bro. Oh, but like, whoop. Well, I guess I'm the leader of the show now. Ew. 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 Yo, <laughs> that's the first thought. <laughs> Can't even get a sympathy question. I'm like, y'all good? No, nah, bro. Wow, this ain't Game of Thrones. Y'all got yeah, it's Game of Thrones. I support uh, Lower Gramps. You know, we already <laughs> know what type of nigga you is, bro. <laughs> Lower Gramps. Chaos. Finger, nigga, bro. Yeah, for chaos. Sure. chaos. And you know what happened? You know what happened, Little Finger? He got shaked up by kids, bro. Hey, I hate you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, he did. Then he got. All of them all he got right. goofy, though, for that. Well, I mean, they definitely did Little Finger goofy on the whole. Period. I don't. I felt well, like the way he went out like was, was goofy. I'd be like, I think that was just feeling tension. I'd have been like, "Hey, yo, I'm about to go back to the bell, bro." I feel like the I same way that. Lowfinger went out was the same feeling I got when uh, Loki got killed by Thanos. I was just action. like, "Wait, what the fuck did you do?" It was. I know the book isn't gonna go like that. It, it was weird for him to die like that, for real though. Like, Ooh, was, Loki or no, Little Finger. Little Finger. Oh yeah, yeah. That thought was odd. Well, if the book ever comes up. Mm. Uh, three, two, one. But yeah, next piece of news. <laughs> a late ass class. Uh, well, I got. I, it. I personally don't have anything. You have anything else, Gramps? Yeah, I got a little bit of other shit. Uh, oh, I was here. like, we about to move on to us in a second. All right, well, let's talk about Apple. Apple, big Apple. money Apple. Woo! So, oh, the Apple so card. They they recently changed. Yeah, they got a credit card. What nigga. It's called Air Power. Where your Google credit card? Basically, like this dock Google? where you can char charge multiple Apple devices at the same time wirelessly. Oh, that's great. So. That's something they were hyping for like the last couple years. Don't they all use the same cord? Say what? Don't they all use the same cord? Those wireless. You don't want the pad. Oh. The wireless charging. Oh, you mean the pads that everybody already has yeah. out there? No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but it's going to be an Apple one, so it's going to cost more than new ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it'll look nice, too. It's pretty <laughs> clean. Oh, clean as hell. That shit going to be pretty. I mean, is it at least like big? Like, can you put a lot on it? I mean, they cancel this. So who knows? Oh, I got a oh, I got a gripe with these AirPods. You get a picture of it. Hmm. I'll let you finish. Yeah. I got a gripe with AirPods after we we finish this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, that was going to be other news, but I'll let you bring that up if you want. But Apple also had one of their um, I don't even want to call it a release, but they 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 announced their certain um, software that they're um, investing in. So like, for example, they have some app where it basically takes all of whatever newspapers that people actually read, they know that people still read newspapers or Come magazines, on, right? Online? and put up the one app. Hmm. I'm, and I'm charge pretty sure. the monthly subscription for it. I think they charge you like $10 a month for it. Isn't that like so what I'm Crackle like, does? Uh, so mm. Can I get you just pay for that now? Yeah, man. And then um, they came out with their own Apple credit card. There it is. Yep. Hey. So they, 
So they're going to be robbing niggas even more. Oh, that's, 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 that's even that's better because you know they're living finna be high as a motherfucker for nothing. But they're going to get niggas on like, yeah, bro, yeah. With this Apple credit card, you can get an uh, iPhone can for get $20. An iPhone. You know, the, the, the APR just going to be 25%. Yeah. But, but, you know, you've got Apple Come now, on, so bro. you're good. That's true, though, no, for Apple. Apple. You know, you know it's got to at least be 30 or 40 It can be 100% APR. What? what? Us niggas, we don't pay interest hey, on credit cards. Because we got it. We don't pay interest on credit cards. Maybe we all play that whole shit off before the bill come due. Yes, exactly. Right. Except those bro niggas that's trying to start. What is interest? What is interest? I just want to see niggas try to sell that on Facebook. Hey, bro, I got this Apple credit card. I got Apple credit card. I'll get you any iPhone, any iPhone. I, right or now. I take Apple credit. I'll take Apple credit. <laughs> I hey, take Apple credit. Hey, motherfuckers talk about like, yeah. Nah, the first one is to crack the Apple card. <laughs> oh. Hey, that, they, should make, they should make literally, the marketing team should make a hood Apple uh, th- uh, market. Like, like, hey, yeah, bro, it's how do your credit card getting cracked? Get an Apple credit card. Uncrackable, bro. <laughs> like, that could be the commercial that I say niggas are getting. Wow. <laughs> All the black niggas are getting. Oh my god. Hell. Yeah, yeah uh, true. you had I something mean, else? Car, the car supposedly has no digits on it or whatever, so you can't just take somebody's information to go shopping with it. You have to actually use that card. I mean, oh, it's, it's, it's only going to work at Apple stores anyways. Who give a fuck? No. Well, really here's, here's the thing. I guess they say that they're trying to use in order to woo all the Apple owners. You get 3% cash back if you're paying for an Apple product. And I think you get like 1% or 2% oh, cash back. I mean, they're definitely going to use it. Else. Cause you have to buy accessories with every fucking Apple product, so oh, it's not like you're gonna run out of things to pay for. That's Do you true. get it off if you get an Apple subscription? Huh? Like that's an Apple product. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like let's say if I pay for iTunes or something. Yeah. Or uh, iMusic, whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. Would I get my three percent back? Oh. I don't know. All that. oh, that's recent question. Huh? If, you, if you do what? If you use your Apple card to pay for an Apple-owned subscription, uh-huh. do you get 3% back? Because that would actually probably be decent. You got cash, bro. But I'm assuming you probably wouldn't get it back on every time you pay for it. Mm-hmm. Maybe they give it to you on the first 15. Why would they give you oh, that'd back? be lame, bro. No, you're saying that the card, they give you 3% back on uh, buying Apple products. So you was wondering, like, on a subscription-based service, would I get, I'm assuming, it would, would I get 3% back every time I pay that bill? Hmm. Which is I don't think it's true. They probably give it to you like on the first one maybe, but I don't know if they give it to you for yeah, every paycheck hey. because you know why would they give you money? money? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it'll be a decent reason to get people to buy this. Well, right. They don't like, need to. Key. They, they like, like the thing we we keep arguing about Apple is like they don't need they definitely they don't need them. customers. Like, they, they don't need to try them. to get they customers. Who? This is why I gotta say. Do you bro. see? This is this is a perfect segue to the AirPods thing, bro. I've never seen so many white ears in my life, bro. Everyone has these Bluetooth headphones on. I'm like, bro, Bluetooth headphones have been out for at least like ten years at this point, bro. Mm-hmm. Niggas was making fun of. I saw like a Twitter post. Niggas was making fun of their uncles about like that that one Bluetooth in the ear. But everybody got AirPods on, and they losing them hoes. Like I'm just like, bro, this thing is dollars. it's a fashion statement. Yes, yes, nigga, it's a broke. And that's what I'm saying. So they don't <laughs> they don't have like the need to acquire customers. But like this is what, what marketing saying. do they have to do? They, it's like literally there. The whiteness I think is also like a marketing tactic because they stand out. Like those are AirPods, like. I notice, like I don't notice. If you have Bluetooth thing in your head, they're usually dark. I probably I wouldn't heard. notice until I walk past you. If I'm walking down the street, I can see them AirPods. I already coming out with the black ones too, though. Really? Oh, yeah. So you, you can match it with your fit. Niggas literally wear them like clothes. I swear they do. Niggas really wear them like clothes. Oh my god. Like the black ones. But that's the my white point. Ones. Is like Ooh. no matter what they do, they're we're arguing like a tech company. Like we're arguing, we're seeing like Apple through a tech company lens, but they're really a Gucci. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That makes tech products. But they this like this is what are I'm a, fa- a tech fashion yeah, they're, they're brand. Tech, they're, they're, tech tech they're a tech fashion brand. That's, That's how it's a tech company. It's like it's just no. I mean like they've got Gucci's a clothing store, and then Gap is also a clothing store. Just but, that one is high end, one is not. Oh, uh, I I don't see them as like a tech company. I see them as a fashion company that makes tech because none none of none of the things they do are actually. Innovative. Anyway. That's exactly. None of the clothes that Gucci makes, like, what's special about this? Because clothes? they're a fashion brand. That's why I said they're a tech fashion brand. No, it's the name brand. They, people want them. Yeah, it's, it, they're, it they're, is. They're willing to spend more money for the name of it right. because of, you know, how well known it is. So I don't get how they're not 
a fashion no, brand. No, they because they, they like it. Everyone has it. First off, yeah. That's that's why people I think really want it. So you don't have green messages. You don't have what? Green messages. Like you, you green mean, messages. Yeah. Your messages to me are green. Yeah, if you what? have green messages, what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, uh, oh, that's what. Right. Right. Niggas who have Android come in is green. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I fucking yep. hate Apple. <laughs> <laughs> you you texted a girl. Like, trash. She got an iPhone. You texted and your shit green. Yeah. Yo, that's you, crazy. That's so crazy. Yo, do you like didn't even fucking know shit yeah. green? So you look, oh, I did my broke. time with Apple, so I actually yeah. know. This nigga. Oh, this nigga green. He broke. Yeah, I was just like, oh, niggas green. That was one like, that shit cheap. killing me, bro. bro let me tell you this. Bro. That's why you take a long time to respond, huh? They probably oh, say the bitches delayed too. No, I'm so uh, nigga, oh no, your shit, your shit green, so he's not responding. You know what I'm saying? Like he look, he like, oh, this broke nigga texting me. It's, it's actually oh, it's it's Apple code that if a nigga texts you with green, you gotta wait at least twenty. You say you respond immediately, bro? Yeah. I don't get that shit till like fifteen minutes later. So <laughs> if you really responded immediately, then Apple fucking some shit up too. Well, I was asleep. I was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, I don't think Apple gonna last much longer. Really? What? This is my thing. I kind of use uh, my students because they're younger. They're more in the know. It's kind of like my my thing of how things are What's going. Next? Yeah. And like so, like two years ago, <clears throat> it would be like it's hard pressed to find a nigga with an Android. Like you'd have to like literally find probably the brokest kid. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Or maybe that one nigga that's like, no, I'm into tech. Apple is stupid. Yeah. But 9.9 out of 10 kids got some type of Apple. I'm talking about niggas that have an a iPhone 4S before they had an Android, bro. <laughs> and we on iPhone 10, and they was yeah. not going. But, like, uh, now you're starting to see more people be like, oh, the Google Pixel is better. I, I got that. Or, like, a couple kids will have, like, Androids and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then just literally be like, nah, it's better, bro. Apple garbage now. It's like, so I see that little trend. Yeah. And if you just, like... I, I think it's gonna change. There's no way it stays forever. Uh-huh. And already older people don't really fuck with it. What? Like old niggas? Who old, what old people have? Like them? older than us, them niggas don't got Apple. Them really? niggas got. got huh? Yeah, they got something. Fuck. They got what they call like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got the brick joints. But like, I'd say, though, I don't think it's, it's. It won't be as big, maybe. But I don't think it's going anywhere because most people that. Like people who say who are saying that oh Apple trash the Pixel is better, they're kind of into tech, you know. The average person who doesn't like know shit about anything about computers or like technology in general, yeah. they don't really care. They just like they just get an iPhone. That's that they, don't, true. they don't know. They don't even know any Androids. They like they don't even know what a Pixel is. I mean, it's it's like uh, when you talk about computers, like before Google before people. Macs or whatever. But it was like yeah, let me just get a PC. Like that's it. I Google mean, I think OP, it's just the bro. name, huh? That's all I gotta say. Google O P. I mean, they like, are, they but they just are in way more business units than Apple to me. I just feel like their thing is just more pervasive. Like they don't need to be good in the phone market. Their their operate yeah their operating system is what every phone runs on. So I don't need a great phone. Everyone that's not Apple runs on my operating system. You know, I own Search. I own like, like I, uh, what I, don't they like have their hand? I don't so think I feel like they don't hear as much. Yeah. There's no really? you think they're terrible great business that's complacent. What is what is Google? What has Google done in the past? Like, what in terms of what? Five years. What in terms of what? Like, <laughs> like, innovation. What? what? <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. Do you know? Hold on. <laughs> Do you remember you <laughs> just like saying some shit? That's, oh, that's going to be the go last ahead. tech thing that I bring up. Go ahead. No, go ahead, Grant. You talking about the Google gaming system? What? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna see y'all opinions on that, but oh, go man. ahead. I don't even know. No, I thought we were gonna continue because I was gonna um, also bring up the. You know how you were talking about those the Apple AirPods, right? Yeah. Because they came out with the second one, which is basically the same shit, but you know they're gonna be charging more money for it. And the only thing you can really say is different than folks could actually use for it uh, are the um, it's the new case. You can wire the charge. Yeah. Oh. But, um, does so he really know his Apple? They say you'll do his letter. <laughs> it's like 160, right? Yeah. If you bought it, they beam it into our heads. The wireless charging case uh-huh. is $200. So you basically spend an extra $40 if you bought the headphones with the wireless uh, charging case. But if you have the headphones and you want to buy the uh, wireless charging case separately, it's like 
I think eighty dollars. Mm, so I'm mean. like, yeah, Apple get my fucking. No, it's the labor, bro. You gotta think about the labor, cause they gotta take all them AirPods out, the wireless charging case. That's that's a lot of labor costs, bro. Oh, for a moment, yeah, I, I really thought think about it. Serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you know they sell an iPhone like yeah, three times about, the price. No, but you know Apple pays their workers appropriately, bro. So that's a lot of expensive labor costs. Some little Chinese kids, they mm-hmm. get paid good money. They, gotcha. right now, they, they do be right down with Benji. For real. Shit. I just remember. Bro. Whoa. Apple on there. Whoa. <laughs> So anyways, back to your yeah. Google point of Google is not influential or that's hasn't some, done that anything. Is, that is My bad, shit. excuse me, hasn't, hasn't done anything. That's some clunk shit to say. No, Apple hasn't either. <laughs> Apple hasn't either. They haven't done anything either. What are you, now, what what are you talking about? Like, like, I, I don't understand what you're saying. If, yeah, if like, you're talking about like Google, game changing. point was like, oh, they have niggas. They be doing like some cool shit. They like, still do. Yeah. No, bro, they do. I think they smart know. cars are still out there. They know, they know Bro, they search yeah, they're actively working on it. Gets better. Everyone like, has a smart car. Shit. No, but I mean, I would say Google arguably might have been one of the first ones to kick that off. I would think. I don't think so. Who was who was before them? I feel like who was before them. Hold on. Smart cars? Yeah. Oh, you no. smart cars? You talking about like self driving? Yeah. Yeah. Apple can be doing that. Apple doing that shit too. But what I'm talking Microsoft about? Microsoft doing that shit. I mean, like what? All right. I mean, I get that everyone jumped on a bandwagon once somebody started it, but I'm saying who started that though? I don't know. We don't know if it's Google. Tesla, fuck you, mean? I guess. Yeah, Tesla yeah, <laughs> probably was Tesla. Between Tesla or Google, but I would think they, it's one of those two. You can't, you can't just say it's Google. That's true. Yeah, I, I don't mean, have the exact I still info, want to point out their search engine, which is like yeah. they upgraded every year and is ridiculously yeah, good. What, bro? Every time you get hit with a, a ad, Bad. it's, it's because, because of their search engine. Yeah, it's because of Google. First of all, the. Bro, if Amazon put a, a search engine up right now, it'd be better than no. No. Oh, Google. No. Oh, what? You just, tweaking? What? Bye, bye, Google. I still can't find everything oh, I'm looking for on huh? Amazon huh? search. They probably uh, get all their shit from Google information. What no. you talking about? Google, Google run the information game. game. Yeah. What are you talking about? You well, know yeah. that uh, Amazon that used Google ads thought. to like get themselves to where they are, right? They Everybody uses Google. Like, why, because why build their own when they can use it? But I'm saying if they decided to, I think you correlate no, money with I, their no, no money, no money yeah. wise. Like I don't think, like I'm saying, what has Google done? I what has Amazon done that's technologically innovative? Just because they got a lot of money, yeah. don't mean that they could finesse what Google finesse. They algorithm uncopyable, nigga. Yeah, what, that's why don't nobody even try for the search. Yeah, for like they search and like uh, getting your information and finding the best shit for you. Where or what? Oh, you, you use Bing, oh, nigga? No, no, no. You, use <laughs> you use Google and that's it. Oh, iPhone oh, niggas use Google, Google, bro. Like yeah. what? It's a domination. For, 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 for most people, if you're trying to go navigating somewhere, what you're going to use? Google, Google Maps. Maps. If you're trying to yep. use a calendar, what you're most likely going to use? Okay, if it's for work, you're most likely going to use probably Outlook. But oh. if it's for personal reasons, you're most likely going to use Google. Okay. If you're trying to make a new email for anything, Google. what you're going to use? A Google, a Gmail account. Try to watch videos? Right. YouTube, YouTube. Google. Google. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the point. All this shit is old. What, what are you talking about? What? YouTube, they didn't create YouTube. They bought YouTube. Not, um, I mean, like, I'm saying. Not Siri, so it's most likely going to be the Google Assistant. What are you defining? If you're going to watch random videos, what are you going to go to? YouTube, which is owned by who? Google. Google. And Google uh, made YouTube I, 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 100% better. better. They bought when YouTube. You say, no, they made it better. When you say old, what do you mean? I'm saying there's nothing new that they have, like, done. That's like saying... Apple oh, started, was, a, started a smartphone. If I can argue that's the most important thing in the past 10 years. No, the most important thing right now, I would say, is the ability to get on social media and become rich. And who started that? Google. Once they bought YouTube and started paying niggas to make content, yeah. that blew up and changed the game. If it, Instagram models wouldn't be shit without YouTube. If we didn't YouTube. have smartphones, YouTube wouldn't even be shit. Without, so what? Because that means you don't have to physically be at your house watching, like... No, if we had enough smartphones. I hear your argument about smartphones, but I don't think Apple invented way. smartphones, bro. I, Apple's just making smartphones. I think they popularized it. Yeah, like the, the modern-day smartphone. Yeah, they did. What? I think they the popularized it. The smartphone wasn't created within the last five years. I thought that was your main argument about. Who no, my point is just I'm saying recently in general. Yeah. Right, within the last five years, right? That was just a number right through that. Well, <laughs> because if you just wanted to say well, I mean, what Google do, Google, Google has been fi- in the past ten years. I guess my confusion is coming from you're saying Google is old, but what is new to you? Cause I don't see you. You already agreed that Apple didn't really do yeah. nothing new either. Apple so older what, than Google. Fuck. So yeah, yeah. I like said they ain't this either. So like I'm what? asking, what is what is new? Is that none of the big companies to me are innovative? Well, let me say that. What they I mean, do I agree that they, buy, they just of buy the smaller companies out. That's what they do. They, they, they have to. Yeah, they don't. They don't have the ability. Like, big businesses don't have the ability yeah, to move flexible. quickly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's all I'm saying. But I also think that's absurd to say that they haven't made changes when 
you Google making YouTube pay niggas to make videos was probably one of the most significant cultural changes in the recent times. Like that kind of shaped Instagram niggas, Vine niggas, that, and that itself shaped our culture. Like getting views became a thing because of YouTube mm -hmm. and because Google, because YouTube was out before Google. Google bought that shit and started paying niggas. Like mm -hmm. the whole view culture is all Google. Yep. There you go. Logic. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> Apple, bro. I'm getting me a <laughs> pixel. As soon as that shit come to T-Mobile, bro, I'm on it. No, I'm not. I'm still getting Note 10. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> no, no for life, man. Yeah, I'm a Note 10, nigga. I ain't going to lie. Um, but, um, yeah, while we on the topic, uh, did y'all want to talk about the Google Stadia? Do y'all think it's going to survive? Hell think? no. no. Uh, I think it's going to Google what? Uh, they made their own gaming system. No. Nope. Um, from what I read, uh, I don't All know right. if it was an article you said or another article. Um, basically, you can like uh, do a. It's basically like a gaming subscription service almost. It's the Netflix for video games. Yeah, which I think what that's a perfect idea. I mean, I felt like it, depending on what games they're able to launch with, that's like the d differentiator here. But to be honest, I'm who the fuck wants to keep buying a new system all the time. Like that's the uh, part. If that is the death of the system, meaning like I no longer have to like wait for because the only system that I feel changes from time to time is Nintendo. Does it? Every time they come over with a new system, no, it changes but here's the game. The play. magic of the Stadia, though, you don't have to actually buy the system. From what I understand, you can play it on anything. You can play it on your phone, on your computer, on your on your tablet. You can basically play on my it on console that has a, has an internet. Internet connection. So it could be an app on uh, the PlayStation Store or an app on the Xbox, whatever right. that that store is called. Um, then well, yeah, I, 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 I couldn't see them allowing it. it. Why allow you to play it on your console? But because then you don't uh, get the money. But on, on any random device that everybody has. I see that that the uh, but who doesn't get the money because uh, uh, the game studios that are making these games rental companies are are detrimental to game studios right game, game studios but like Sony Microsoft and Nintendo like Nintendo's the only one I know of that like directly makes a lot of games mm -hmm. Xbox and PS4 are just systems that host games yeah. made by other studios so and like they, why they have to promote fuck? the idea of not. That's why they made online gaming, or not like you can download your games online. Because yeah. if they promote rental, now they lose money. Because some of the money goes to like the the console that is being made for some of the percentage. Mm. And so, like, if you have less titles, yeah. you have less money. Uh -huh. uh, I could not see them going with a a game rental app. If yeah, that was the case, GameFly would have came back. You know what I'm saying? So I like, you. they definitely it has to be somebody like Google who got the money and they own infrastructure to back it. Yeah. And like, cloud gaming might be able to make up for like, or not cloud gaming, cloud storage uh -huh. might be able to make up for some of like the storage issues. Yeah. But if they did it good on them, I just couldn't see like niggas at PlayStation or Xbox being like, yeah, let's allow niggas to rent games instead of buying them. Yeah. I couldn't see it. I mean, I guess I I see what you're saying there, but I think then the the challenge becomes right if they're able to somehow work the business out and be able to pretty much match the titles that drop for sony and xbox why would i want what what is going to keep me going to them to sony and xbox yeah the only thing that keeps them going right now uh -huh. is uh one the convenience of it yeah and the power Right. right, so convenience being that it's, it's not more powerful than a PC, 100%. but you don't have to build the shit yourself for it, but so it's convenient. Right. And then the power of it is like, oh, why do you go to an Xbox or a PlayStation over a Switch or any of these random side games? Mm -hmm. Is that like the power of it? So when a new game come out, which like, you know, the, the Xbox was powerful enough to run the games that we playing on them now, even yeah. though five, six, seven years ago. The games were not as good. Yeah, yeah. Like they got to be forward, like compatible. Yeah, yeah. So like, if you get this Google game, mm -hmm. and it's just like a subscription service, then like you have to have a powerful enough device to run it. Like right. you can't just like, oh, I want to play Skyrim today. Or if there's new games that have like shit to it that we can't even comprehend right mm -hmm. now, like can this Google device play it? Yeah. And if not, like, do you have to get a PC that can play? So it? then that then becomes the question of like, so if they just drop a console with it. Then, then now they have a console. If they are able to like, if the the selling pro the value prop for that console is 
all the same games you have on Xbox and Sony, mm-hmm. um, and then maybe even more powerful hardware, because I hear they were talking about something about being able to run on 4K and, and scale up whatever, the visual, some shit. But um, if they pretty much say, like, going to us doesn't change your experience from Xbox or Sony, mm-hmm. um, and now you pay less for your games... Like, why wouldn't I go there? Okay, there's only two ways That's I can see question. that not happening. Or why would you... If basically they finesse it somehow yeah. to be better than them, uh-huh. why wouldn't it work? And the only option if, in that case would just be the name. That's the only way. Yeah. But if you're saying they finesse it so that they are better, then yeah. they better. Of course people are going to flock to them. But I don't think they can finesse it to be better. Mm-hmm. Because, because of the hardware limitations, yeah. because of the namesake, and because of like video game companies uh-huh. make less money off of renting. So they're not going to be like, yeah, Google, um, let me give you Call of Duty 3 where I'm going to make less money right. if I could just give it to them. And every time they make a, a sell a copy, I get $25 a copy. Mm-hmm. And we out here selling millions of copies. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So here's my counter to that. And uh, this, uh, for Google, it may or may not be true uh, because they had they do have failed products out there. So it's, it's possible. But I think Google that a company home. that big uh, has thought about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like... To understand that that like that's the model that they want to go with, they have enough resources to validate that that is like an actual um, accurate like value proposition. Like it'll work. Like it's weird to say they didn't think through the fact that like game studios wouldn't be behind. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So like I I I am going off the fact that I trust somebody validated our that already, so they know that there is a high chance of success. Because if they didn't know that, why would they? You know, I, just move forward with that. They, I think they, can, they they think they do the research to make a better product. Yeah, maybe, but I don't think that necessarily means people will use it. Like, no, that's true. Like, if if people are already invested in something, like like it's the same thing with an iPhone. Yeah, yeah I, I can agree that there are like, a lot of Androids are better in pretty much every aspect. Sure. Yeah, but that doesn't make people decide right. to get an Android. My thing is like, if they build a a console, that means I don't need a console anymore. And I'm able to play all the because the, my whole point is that's why I leave Nintendo out of the argument is that there is no difference between buying a PS4 and an Xbox, really. Like there, it might be one or two games that uh, is a differentiator there, mm-hmm. but either or, like now that like internet for Sony is paid, like they're pretty much the exact same system with like subtle differences. But in the whole aspect, as a regular buyer, I don't care. I'm just gonna get whichever one I feel like getting mm-hmm. in the moment. So I say if you had a third competitor there that is on the same tier, but the only difference now is like the only way I see it like staying with the other two is if their sole focus is games. Because the only reason why now today my PS4 and Xbox is more valuable than um, that system is because I don't play games on it most of the time. I watch Netflix on it. Mm -hmm. I like watch Hulu on it. It's like my TV box. So if if Google says, oh, we just have a gaming system and it's not a TV box and it's the same as all these other two, I wouldn't buy it because I'm like, well, I'm not trying to get another device for my uh, TV. Yeah, you know what I mean? So like at the end of the day, and I don't want a Chromecast to that system. So that's like the part where I see that they will fall. But if they have everything those two have, I think that they should be really scared because that like they're gonna have to switch up their business model. I just think the subscription model, like regardless of how the game studios feel about it, Mm -hmm. it's the same thing with streaming. Regardless of how the artists feel about it, how raped the artists are from streaming music, the at the end of the day the consumer goes Yeah, like nigga, I'm I'm going to do this. Like so that's what matters. So if they're like if the consumer goes, Hey, I'm going through that subscription service, the game studios have to adapt. And to me I feel better about that. You know what would make me legitimately hands down by I'm getting a Google? Is if it's like, oh, you could boot up either like PlayStation or Xbox. Like, because the, if the online play isn't there, oh, yeah. if it's like, oh, my homies got to be having a Google whatever the fuck too. Yeah. Like, what? Now I got to convince my <laughs> niggas to get a <laughs> Google whatever. Yeah. And that's the main reason I got Xbox. So I'm like, oh, what all my niggas getting? Oh, we getting Xbox? I got Xbox. Yeah. Because I just like playing online with them. So, but if they did that, like, oh, you need to boot up uh, PlayStation today? Bet. Let's do that. Yeah. Oh, you want to boot up Switch? All right. Let's go. Yeah. I'd be like, all right, this is the ultimate console. That has crossplay. Yeah, if they can crossplay. Yeah, but then again, I don't think like Sony or Microsoft will let that happen. Now no, Sony or either, either Sony or Microsoft well, just opened well, up to it. Hold on, oh, I, I think that they've um, already been having agreements with those companies, trying to have them oh, for one 
also include their exclusives and what? to potentially have crossplay with See, them. So I, they're in it to fuck these game studios. That's the whole but thing. no, but here's the thing though: is it really fucking the game studios? Uh, because think about it: what's going to give you more no, money know. in the long term of things? A one term, a one time purchase. Let's say if you get millions of it, okay, yeah. you made your big money from this specific game in this period of time. But if it's something which is on a subscription uh, type of process, which is the reason why a lot of artists, for example, uh, already had agreements with like Google or or um, fuck Spotify and all these other companies, yeah. is because you're then going to be getting passive income over the course of time just mm-hmm. by just by people playing your games yep. or like in that case listening to your music or whatever and I feel like that's going to be a more sustaining thing than simply having you make a bunch of money okay. all in one time so to counter that think that being the reason that I think like, it's a lot less though so a lot less money you make like a, like a, an artist music for example yeah. them selling them getting money from their CDs yeah it's one thing is is it's, it's one thing but I think it's way more money because say that's um Say a CD costs ten dollars, I guess. Yep. That ten dollars goes. It has to cut it up between the artist and his management, whatever. Mm-hmm. But it goes directly to that artist group. Yeah. When they pay that ten dollars to Apple Music, that ten dollars is split. I don't like a billion right. times. Well, I know, like, I, you don't know right. what they're getting. Like, they can be getting like shit, like yeah. completely nothing at all. One cent mm-hmm. per per download. So it's the amount of time that every person is listening or playing your your Whoa. specific. Well, product. let me let me put it this way, like. The difference between Netflix and TV shows and um, artists and music is I make that one time and that's it. Like, I make my song, I package it up, that's it. I make my movie, I package it up, that's it. And then after that, all of that is residual income. Game is, gaming, to on my understanding, is not like that. I make the game and then I figure out there's a bunch of bugs with it. The way we behave today, and then I patch those bugs. And then now I have to think about like, all right, did this do well enough to make a phase two of that game? So now I'm in development of the phase two of that game and DLC, so on and so forth. So right. like, it's like continuous work on that product by the same set of people versus like that one time work on that one piece of music that can make me billions of dollars. Like one, one hit song can make up for a shitty album in terms of like cost, but one bad game does not like do the same. If that makes sense when it comes to like, the, the gaming studio themselves like I feel like the way the the system behaves today um, I I would hope that something like this encourages people to go back to being more creative because before the the goal the end goal seemed to optimize profits so it was like what can I do to make sure like I get more pay out of this game and I think oh actually no I actually think now it's gonna be negative now that I say that because free to play um, is definitely gonna get bigger with this shit because now if a game studio is making less money, I need to find a way to get profits directly to me. Well, the only way to get profits directly to me is to make sure they pay for shit mm-hmm. in the game so that I can like take that money straight out besides the little bit of profit that I'm getting for hosting it on, for mm-hmm. licensing it out to, to Google or whatever. Now, you know, so I might bastardize that. that so, so, the reason, so here's the reason why I thought that co- companies could, could make a lot of money in the long term for things. Whenever I don't, I'm not sure exactly when it came out, but Fortnite came out at some point within the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. When people purchase that, they all purchase that one time, and it's one of Whoa. the biggest games right Fortnite now. Is free. If Fortnite was something yeah. that was played on a subscription basis, that company would still be making a shit ton of money. Because that I got money is going disagree. Yeah. Yeah. That money's going directly to them though. Process by itself. So aside from all of the money that they're getting. Right, you know the in-game purchases and all that as well. Okay, that, so Fortnite, Fortnite is free. So the reason is like the League of Legends model mm-hmm. is that they get money from in-game purchases, yeah. and that's like why you play so much, the shit is free. Because right. it, yeah, kids play it so much because it's free, yeah. and then they get some kids to basically buy more yeah. of the game and eventually end up paying more than sixty. Now, the thing with the subscription-based service, which I think all of y'all are get, missing, is that um, is dude's got uh, the, the right of it, is that you make way less money on subscription basis. They get extra money by doing ads. So if it's a subscription-based game service, the only way they even compare in money is if we got ads in the middle of our game. That's like, true. They, it's, it's, it's going to be way less money 
um, if you do subscriptions. Unless we got some ads or like some pay to play. Like, oh, you get subscriptions, you get these $30 and less games for free. Yeah. But if you want more, you got to spend that extra 30 or something. Yeah, like so that. now we're going to have a premium game, which is like no ads to play this game. Or like, all right, you just pay your $5 and you get the like the game with ads, basically. But then it's also like the, um, the, the soft, the company console itself. What cut do they get? That's like saying I'm thinking that they're getting the biggest upfront cost. Whoever's hosting that service yeah, or my they, my mind Google. They have so much power. They can decide yeah. they can decide to, to, and to, I think, to not pay the game makers, creators. Exactly. They can pay them shit. And I think it's just the and same like, formula that has been followed in the music yeah, business. Exactly. That's what I'm in saying. the movie exactly business, which is just like, let's rape them and then what Sony and like uh, Xbox had figured out, I was like, oh, they, yeah, they about to rape these. And he's like, let me hop on this train. So, like, I'm on the right side of it and I get my profits up front. So, like, if you're doing Xbox or whatever, let me make sure my hand's in this deal so that I can do what, what like, I need to do. Because I, I, I think that, um, like, I don't know. I just felt like, the yeah, game shoes are going to get raped. But at the end of the day, the point of it was... I mean, we, we're raping them. Just mm-hmm. like we raped them in music because we were like, why the fuck do I have to pay for a CD? I like, think, why do I got to pay for this shit? And I then they were like, the all right, we got to get them to pay. Continuing towards tri- uh, subscriptions. Honestly, I, I think we, we got to the height of subscriptions. And I don't think people want to see that. I think we at the hill. We at the top of the hill where niggas are like, damn, bro. Low key, I got like 15 different subscriptions coming out for $10 a month. Half of the shit I don't use, like, it's starting to annoy me. Yeah. Once we get to the point where Can't everybody we. trying to ride that wave, it's going to be too much. And niggas going to be like, nah, I don't want this. Then no, there I'm has to be some new way. No, I'm telling you, it's cable, bro. They're going to consolidate. It's cable. That's all it is. Like, everybody's coming out their own streaming service. Mm-hmm. Eventually, someone's going to go, hey, what if I just consolidate all these yep. streaming that's services that's together that's awesome, and you just had to pay one flat fee? Oh, that's cable. And that's cable. Exactly. <laughs> we already have, like, they're just going to do that. And that's the, the the stupid thing about it. I just think my point is that with what I felt like I've learned uh, growing up is that, like, these, any, like, niche creative industry gets bastardized like this. And then, like, I, I just don't know what the next step is to the reform of being creative again. Because I felt like... Um, with the superhero movies, it's like, oh, cool. Like, that first Avengers movie was, like, their, their like, creativeness, right? And then eventually it became a business model, which is, like, start a universe and then make money off of all the, like, movies of the individual movies of each of the characters in the universe. Mm-hmm. And then do another conglomeration and then do that formula over and over again. That's why everyone was like, oh, I'm going to start a universe. And I think it's the same thing with, like, subscription service and streaming services. My thing is, like what makes it come to a head to where creativeness is prioritized again instead of making money because right now what's going to happen is like i feel like we still haven't reached the pinnacle of the like the gaming um money the gaming greediness of like this free to play shit is there and it's like in every game now but it's like not to the point where like i still am forced to pay for it Mm -hmm. i feel like it's gonna get to a point where i'm forced to like pay for it to enjoy a game like i i can't get out of this game without putting a like an extra dollar mm-hmm. down and then that's the part where like yeah i think people are going to get annoyed but we're still used to it it's like when it has to be something completely different that that like says okay this shit doesn't work like yeah. i made this other business model that shows that like i don't need this streaming service to work mm-hmm. or to make money you know i think this is my my theory on how the gaming world is going to go. I think the new type of game is going to be um, uh, community edited games. Uh, basically like mods. Mm-hmm. And the reason I say that is because like if you look at all the popular games that are uh, free to play, like, I would like I would say that the free to play model is what's hot right now. Yeah. All those free to play models, like they got like a five year shelf life and now who, who what's your game? You know what I'm saying? Like right. who's your company? Y'all broke now. You know what I'm saying? Well not broke, but you get it. Um and like nobody safe shit. World of Warcraft not safe. If them right. niggas ain't safe, nobody safe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like I think what's gonna happen is the games that are making it, if we think about the longest running, like continual game that's still running right now is uh Elder Scrolls uh six Skyrim. The reason being is because them niggas like, hey, fuck that saying it's illegal to mod. Hey, community, y'all can mod. Mm-hmm. So, like, niggas never get tired of it. Just when you get tired of it, some nigga made a new mode. All mm-hmm. right, we play that bitch. It's just keep playing, like playing that bitch. Keep playing that bitch. 
Minecraft, shit like that. One of them games that's not going away. I think somebody is going to get the model right so that it's easy for us general players to be like, oh, okay, I can just download this and play something new. Uh -huh. Cool. And then I think but, that's going to be a new. But one. I think the subscription service forces that model now because now I don't need to make part twos of games like I've been saying and I think mm -hmm. you've been saying too is like, I don't need like Call of Duty like Black Ops 3. Like just, that's an update. Yeah, like that's pretty much that. just an update. Like so, uh, eventually, like these major titles are just gonna become worlds with updates. Like, oh, here's just Call of Duty. Like I like playing Call, which I think lends to eventually that VR world where now, like, I just know every first person shooter or every genre of game has their like major title or major world, and this is like where I VR into. Like I like first person shooters, so Call of Duty represents the first person shooter for the types of games I like. Like. American, whatever, modern type of shooters, mm -hmm. boom, I'm in there. There's like the Halo is a futuristic kind. Like, I want to go into the Halo world. Like, that's how I feel like VR, if the goal is to replace VR for video games, how it eventually maps to this. Because with this subscription service, I don't need the now to be a new game, you have to really change the game up. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just not going to throw new games out there anymore. Now I'm just like, yeah, no I need to focus on my world. Yeah. You don't make as much money, so why would you create First, a whole yeah, new game? For a new game to be successful, it has to really be like game changing. You have to basically build another big title. So, I think consoles won't exist eventually. I'm hoping I for that. I'm trying to spend like that. It's like Netflix, it's going to all be like streamed. You're gonna stream like games like over like the internet. There's always the hardware issue. No, no, I'm saying I don't know. think it's going to be a hardware you have in your home. I think the hardware will be handled by them, mm -hmm. and you just like pay your service. You pay that monthly fee or whatever, and then to hook oh, up to so that. So it's ISP. Yeah. So like so, a VPN. So we basically here. going back. To, <laughs> yo, so I need to start putting money. Hey, put money in Comcast or all your internet service providers. Hey, y'all hear about that Comcast Mobile? Nah. Bruh, I'm about to switch on y'all ass for what real. You mean? Comcast, they got their own uh, mobile thing. They ain't really been like uh, promoting it like yeah. that. But like you get like unlimited data for like 45 and it's like ain't no extra nothing. It's like oh, I might 45. hop off that Google Or fight. you could do like um, pay as you go. Because oh. I only use like three, four gigs a, uh, a month. It's like, like yeah. $10 a gig. You know what I'm saying? Something, mm -hmm. something like that. I don't know. Oh, that's, that's what Google team. Fi does. They have like ten dollars a gig, and once you pass six, because I switched to them, you get it for free. But the thing that I realized fucked me with them because I didn't realize this was I forgot about it when I had T-Mobile. But T-Mobile gave me free internet to like watch YouTube and stream Spotify. Mm -hmm. So I never used. I was always like at one or two gigs of data. I never realized why. But then when I got to like Google Fi, oh, it was like, hard. bro, you had like six gigs. I'm like, yo, it's like halfway through the month. How the fuck did I use up this much data? And I go, you oh, too. all the shit I was getting for free before is now like being charged. I'm like, if they just took that model, that would be better for me, to be honest. Like, you know, these are the apps people use all the time. And these are things so that we pretty much. Yeah. These are things I pretty you much know. like use without thinking that they're actually costing me internet. So you Charge saying? me for like the real internet. I use. Yeah, if you Man. have that deal where you get yeah. like the streaming services free, you will like realize you're getting fucked everywhere else unless you get like unlimited data. If you get unlimited data thing, then it doesn't fucking matter how much you use. Oh. But if you because they throttle you on Google oh, Fi after you pass oh, wow. like the six G limit. So mm -hmm. like for the end of last month, for like the last few days of last month, my shit was slow as hell when I was watching YouTube videos. I got that 240p quality and Ooh. shit. I was like, yo, this fucking sucks. So, <laughs> well, hey, heads up. T-Mobile cut the check. Yeah, T-Mobile had a good deal with that. Right. I didn't realize that check. shit was so lit. <laughs> Google cut the check. Hey, all your tech companies cut the check, bro. All I'm saying, put your money in um, ISPs. I hope that I have enough money to become that uh, uh, no. streaming service cable provider I, at I some point. I, I think people like Google is going to take be ISPs up. instead. Yeah, I think tech companies going to do everything. They're going to be the, the music uh, labels. They're going to be the gaming damn. places. They're going to be music the, they, go. they music not going. Music too deep right now. Like huh? you, I know them niggas got money, but music got like rooted in money. You feel know I me? Mean? Like I don't yeah. think Google about to take them. Them niggas kill niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, hundred percent. They, they not no Silicon Valley. We cool type of niggas. They ain't like, bro, we come to y'all, I'll slap your kids up, bro. They already, they already, the like, like getting the labels already for um the, the tech companies already fucking the label. Well, that's Spotify. Yeah, with all the Spotify. Spotify, Spotify that's what I mean. Like it's gonna be like artists oh, gonna just sign directly to like music like the oh sign directly to Spotify. Wow. Yeah, they cut out yeah. the middleman. Hey, we better get on this this uh, uh artist um. 
creator. No, what was that shit? The the the, the You sound like Joe Budden. I'm telling you. No, the artist. Uh, fuck. Stop. The artist. Stop. Oh, artist. Yeah. Stop. Oh. We I'm doing that right you. now. Make money. That, I feel like that shit is. I don't know, man. I just think uh, it's scary. It's scary, but I also feel like um, there's a disruption. Like this thing is like at first they were like dis disruptors, and I feel like something's gonna come to disrupt them. At this point, that's that's how I see it. Tech mm. tech was a disruptor, like to a lot of major industries. Like where you're just like, oh okay, yeah, like nah, we just f- fucked that up. Like even the company I'm at right now is disrupting the law industry. Like they putting lawyers out of business because they just like, hey, why don't you just have like this robot? The software, you do be a lawyer, for yeah. You. Do all this like so much more low level stuff, yeah. Damn. And that's what I'm saying. That's but that's really what people don't realize tech is. Tech is not like fancy Your computer friend. shit. It's automation. That's like literally you just go and do something. And say, wait, you did that stupid thing over and over again for like 20 years. What if I just like had a robot do it? It's simple enough. I know exactly the task that I need to do. Like I would just automate this process, and then as soon as you automate it, it saves you a bunch of fucking money, and then. That's it. Like, we actually uh, had a conversation at work this week about that, saying that basically nearly every job is going to get automated, except for education. Yeah, because, because that, you need you need creativity. Yeah, I feel like you need that. Like you said, the human part of it is it, 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 important to that job. Where's more of a human like contact thing? I would say it won't. It'll eventually get like like um. Service industry out. is is getting phased out by tech. Um, the depending on trucking the industry is getting phased out by tech. You can definitely phase out lawyers, bro. No, yeah, I agree, but to a certain be, degree, you certain need, the thing is tech, like I feel like we're tech. moving into more of a management culture where like being a manager is way more important. Yeah, exactly. Because that's the part where you need like. Flexibility. Yeah, you need you need human. You like you need the to be like so like like to manage like putting like the they're putting like the um the low level lawyers like who like do yeah. the research out of business. Exactly. But the niggas who are actually in court like finessing people like or yeah, like, they got to stay. Yeah, they they gonna be there. Right. They the people with connections that yeah. like actually use whatever that nigga got Zimmerman off. But at, he stay. Yeah. No, yeah. but what I'm saying at the same <laughs> point that kind of like you have to think about how that fucks. Uh, the porn disenfranchised and how that fucks people who are. Yeah, oh, I was about to what? I'm still watching and, real porn. And how, that, <laughs> like, what? and how that fucks people who are entry level because if you don't have those connections, you don't build that network. You know what I mean? You the mm-hmm. only way you get to build that network is to start from the bottom and come mm-hmm. to the top. I propose. So it's like when you kill off the bottom tier, it's like how do I get to management position if I'm not able to build the experience managing people and then how do i like you know get to that management position mm-hmm. if i need the network too like i wasn't allowed to build the network because i grew up okay. in an area i mean where that's I didn't where have education i think there's a quick fix huh? i mean i feel like education would need to evolve with the tech yeah. evolving and i actually been talking sure. about this and proposing this to people is that i think it's time for educational reform right. and then like we switch from um a certain type of education to the one we have now because it was a bunch of blunkins out here we need a smart niggas <laughs> to compete with russians that's just the truth of it that's why they press math and sciences so that we could compete with russians mm-hmm. all right that time is over cold war ended when we was born yeah. time to reinvent that bitch having a, a technical not technical as in technology but like a technical degree like you are very smart at math and science is useless for most people yeah it's, it's good for some but useless for most which is why we got so many people wasting their time and money especially with the art degrees if we phase out college yep. and then just turn 100%. it into high school like imagine if there was a track where niggas start learning the it shit in high school yeah like what do you need to go to college for if you spent your four years in free school learning that shit right so now yeah. you can come straight out or we had niggas doing actual wrong. manual labor mm-hmm. okay straight out of high school you're now working yeah. which means you're not working till you're 65 no more you work until you're 55 something like right. that too many people go to college too many people go to too college, many people yeah, go to college no, and no it's reason. too competitive and too useless now. yeah i mean no i totally agree with that it's just about all right who's the person to fix it <laughs> it is this going to happen no but no, i feel no, like the so problem so is we're we're the people like who maybe like understand that and, and other people in our age group but i doubt like the people that like are now in position to make those decisions I doubt majority of them are even thinking or considering any I, of these I things. I guarantee they are. You think so? Because uh, just from like the few years I've been doing, it's already become a thing where niggas are phasing out the useless shit and phasing in the shit that matter. Like there are like 
tech classes in school now. Yeah. Like the closest yeah, I had true. just ten years ago was AutoCAD, nigga. Uh-huh. Now like you can't go into but a school and not have. A I computer. guess what I'm trying to say is I felt like um, maybe tech is a forcing function, mm-hmm. but I felt like for like dramatic and real change to happen, it never happens until like it's a true danger right so like you said the reason why we mm-hmm. pushed math and science was because we said our threat is the cold war we're yeah. in a war right now so now we have to like force us to do these things i think that's so right I'm now i feel like there is no urgency necessarily until like the tech like something really happens with tech which is like what uh, let me not endorse politicians on here but yeah. anyways but one of the politicians <laughs> speaks on which is like these the the trucking jobs are going to get phased out by like smart trucks right yeah. so we're going to have all those people who make like truckers make like 70k a year sometimes right they all those totally things are going to lose their job right or it's like slowly going to get phased out over time but that like once we start to realize that we've wiped out all of these jobs in the service classes and then like to translate into us, the niggas start <laughs> revolting or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's when it's like, oh yeah, now we well, should do something about these people. Well, I think but, when when like certain jobs are like um, are replaced, I guess I can't think of the word. But um, other jobs are created. Like when cars are created, niggas who's driving like horses and carriage, they had to find it do something else. And we're like, what? Learn to code? Now you have to <laughs> no, fix cars. Like, no, 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 cars that's not what it is. You gotta fix cars. No, but it has to be, uh, yeah, exactly. But it's never evolved. been. There's, there people are. I don't think it's, it's ever been to this scale that that tech is wiping things out. You know, like I think, I think. What like, What would you say wiped out jobs like that? Because I think the industrial area and like I'm not a historian I mean, I created like, a bunch of jobs. I don't know what what, what got wiped out. Created a bunch of jobs. What it does? does. No, but the thing is, so this is the the problem. Like this is why I said learn to code. Well, people, the 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 thing people say to replace a tech job is like, oh, why don't we have all these porn disenfranchised learn to code, right? All these people who are losing service jobs, they should just learn to code because we want software no, engineers. It but it's good. impossible to like really teach all those people out of code it's because they don't have not. the aptitude to well, do like, that. People that's absolutely not. Them. You think like, that you could teach them out of code? If, if, if we talking, if we reform education yeah. to the point like kids don't just get to high school after they've been Right, you know, but you're talking situation. about you're talking about the people who are coming up. I'm talking about the people that today. Their jobs. The, no, oh, if you lose it's a, rap, it's a, yeah. it's a rap, bro. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They, don't, they cannot learn new skills. But the, the thing is, the scale on which these people are going to lose jobs is, I don't think, a scale we've seen in America before. I think it's going to be a bit slower. Yeah, it's not, not going to be It's not going to be effect. like tonight. Everybody. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be slower, but the thing is, are we paying attention to it now? 100%. And I don't think... I mean, my who, argument is 100%. Who is? I think so. Uh, it, it, I, don't, I would say our politicians are not. Changes, I would the changes that. in education nationwide don't happen overnight, mm-hmm. but they do happen. Right, like every single president so far, with the exception of Trump, has made a major change to education. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. And then these changes are t- uh, leaning towards one. It's tougher to become an educator because mm-hmm. obviously, once people start getting laid off, they're gonna try and go to jobs like where you need people. Yeah. So it's way tougher to become an educator. You just can't be like, hey, bro, I, I know how to do this. Let me in. Yeah. And then two, they're starting to force more people to get like. Um, backgrounds and special education so that you can help educate the niggas mm-hmm. that may not be up to aptitude and they're including um like coding and shit in science yeah, yeah. so like that's pretty soon you, you're gonna have to take a fourth science like yeah. science uh computer science yeah like, you ain't gonna be able to make it out of it right, so right. these changes are slow yeah, it's gonna be like math and by the time class, you have kids you're gonna be like oh damn what my, my third grader doing computer science like uh-huh. like niggas don't yeah. even do i mean um, i hope that cursive I- no more they do typing I just say I hope that you're right and doesn't need we don't need like some sort of catastrophe or force and function to make more serious. I hope that the gradual thing that you're talking about is like enough. No, we're gonna get that's what I'm saying. Like for example, um, North Korea did that like cyber attack and they a piece of shit broke ass country. Mm -hmm. Like imagine when somebody with money do yeah. that like we gonna get fucked it's gonna happen so america gonna get fucked over and that's gonna be when niggas like but all right feel, we gotta make this happen now. right but i feel like those decisions made under that level of distress always means that it's not actually going to be the best decision it's going to be what we need in that moment mm-hmm. rather than when you get the chance to think about it and do like the the gra- be preemptive about mm-hmm. it a better decision comes out so i that's my thing is like i don't know that the people are preaching this yeah. like universal basic income there's all of these things people are suggesting That'd to help with that, whatever that issue. But mm. I don't know. I just think. I think we'll there's see. too much separation. We'll see how it plays out in the government right now for us to be making huge decisions. True. Yeah. Like niggas can't even. 
I feel like that's the first force and function is like the eradication of the the, uh, the two, two party parties. system because oh. I think that people in our age are finally like beginning to understand that like Picking I'm on both sides of the, yeah I'm kind of on both sides of the fence for certain things mm. or no. one side is just completely crazy I like, feel like yeah I feel like most people our age are like extreme either one side that's what I'm saying like they're either extreme really? or they're very like moderate kind of. I think that's like the media Telling people oh. that people are that extreme because like, like how many people like, run into? But what's like, so sad CBS is like, that media. I think they're like super, super like, like right? Yeah, no left, left. Oh yeah, yeah, left, yeah. Sorry, like, yeah. like they, they can't even. You can't even like think, accept or something from that someone is saying that doesn't agree with you. Almost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I, but I think that is like the lack of. I I agree with him on the fact that we. A lot of people are extreme. Y'all think that's the majority of people? Yeah. I don't know if I would say it's the majority, but I say it's very easy for uh, a regular everyday person to be an extremist because of the way their life is built today mm-hmm. with tech. You're constantly getting your biases and stuff reaffirmed, right? Yeah. Everything mm-hmm. is like your viewpoint is what you receive, so you only see that as right. And you may not notice that you're actually like more extreme than you mm-hmm. think. And I'm starting to see that like. With more people who are I not see willing that with to like stand, I'm red, bro. Yeah, this niggas really out here with no vaccinations. If my <laughs> kid get the measles on God, we box it. I mean, That's I don't it. get them because I'm just lazy. No, and more nine times out of ten, like if I have to get them, like if I'm at the doctor, and they I mean, like, I'm going to talk about. But I don't like go and get the flu shot. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't get the flu shot. Like, I, feel like, I just don't feel like getting it. As an adult, you do not know. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, like, if someone told me, like, yeah, you got to do something, yeah, I'm going to do it. I don't it. get a flu shot. But like, if you're talking about, like, real vaccination for, like, real diseases that were killing niggas back yeah. in the day, yeah. yes, you should have. You should yeah, have I'll go do that. Yeah, yeah I, I'm just saying, like, you're not around enough people in tight enough areas for it to matter that much. I'm really thinking about kids where you packed in with a thousand little niggas, yeah, yeah. bumping niggas, sneezing high, touching <laughs> on each other. Like, yo, your no kid could be out Like, niggas in the office is washing their hands after they piss, hopefully. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Using Ooh, white sauna. The niggas really be out here. Oh, though. you ain't gonna see that in the professional world. I'm yeah. sorry that y'all work in them conditions, my brother. For real? Yeah, I know. It's sad. It's sad. Well, I yeah, no, I, I don't even get them. That's funny. Uh, I don't even remember. It started with Apple. And then Google. <laughs> More yeah, like Apple. Shout out Apple. Shout out Google. Apple. Apple. Check. It started with the Google uh, system. And then it the Google deep. system. Now we talking about education reform. Yeah. Hey, we do it all here on Afro yeah. Taco Podcast. We well versed. Yeah, for real. Young educated the black Afro Taco Tangent. For real. Um, all right. I mean, I'll just skip the us review, I guess, and we do it next time. Shit was mm-hmm. weird. Uh, basically, a lot of what we <laughs> talked about was I felt like a lot of what us was talking about. Anyways, we don't see the other side. So. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. Hmm. I'll leave it at that for now. Um. They made Mbaku a square. You felt some type of way about that? I felt like he was a square. Like, he went from, like, to, like, hey, get off my lawn. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had no issues with him doing that. I felt like if you, um, one of the podcasts I was listening to brought up a good point, which is basically, like, uh, if you watch that movie, they're, like, just a family, and you don't really necessarily feel like they're a black family, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like, when I watched it, I didn't feel like I was like, oh, they're black. Except like the the few scenes where we was making fun of um them going against them white people oh, yeah. <laughs> and we was like they're not taking the hell to these white motherfuckers <laughs> like when they had to fight these white villains or whatever we was like yeah they black they're not taking no hell. <laughs> and they didn't so but besides that I was kind of just like oh you know it's a fa- I didn't feel like so tied to their race necessarily besides the fact that like I fuck with them as people but mm-hmm. I don't know mm-hmm. it was a good movie though. I uh, definitely don't get the some of the backlash pe- people said about it. I low key saw a little bit of similarity between Black Panther and that movie. What? With um, I got to hear this. I kind of felt like a little vibe of the people who were what are they the tethered? Yeah. Being a little bit similar to uh, fuck, what's his name? Am I going to be Panther. Jordan? Yeah, his character. Huh. Um, Felt a little bit of similarity between how that mm. plot played out with him, you know, coming over and taking over shit, and then the main character having to take shit back and everything yeah. after being defeated and all of that. That was a little bit of similar similarity with that that type of plot. Personally, oh. I wanted the bad girl to win because you know she's the victim here. Just gonna throw yeah. that out there. Is she though? 
Yeah. Yeah. Because okay, that bitch got kidnapped. What are you talking about? I right? mean, she got kidnapped and she got put underground, but at the same time, like, the the girl, like, so put yourself in the, the shoes of the temple. If I got kidnapped, right. bro, I'm coming for mine. Yeah. What? I feel you. <laughs> I totally feel you, but I'm just saying put yourself in the shoes of the tethered where your whole existence like when you grew up was basically you're not worth anything your shit okay. you're feeling underground right mm -hmm. so like at the end of the day you just wanted your chance to be in the sunlight okay so it was why couldn't she just move move up yeah what do you mean why like does one have to be underground i guess yeah yeah, yeah i mean that what was if, what she was taught if she would have just came up and been like oh look I'm your twin. I'm like, hey, mom, right. check it out. I got a twin. We would have got some shit figured out. But she swapped me. You feel uh, me? So that'd be like right now. If I could have been like, hey, guess what, bro? I'm actually your twin. Yeah. Can I live with you? But I think that... And you didn't give me that chance. What if I just switched you out? That speaks to a bigger po point in the movie, which to me is that you're coming from a side of privilege, meaning you understand that, like, you're not necessarily limited by your surroundings and who you are, mm -hmm. but she was grown. She grew up in a place where it was constantly reinforced that she is limited by where she grew up and her surroundings mm -hmm. and who she is. So she didn't know better. You know what I mean? Like she That's doesn't fine, know. Once you switch me, to I'm, I should be able to like once I, once you switch me now on the ground. Mm -hmm. I'm going like I said. I'm going to come I'm and get develop you. That same right. thing. She did do that. So yeah. so we're not saying that you're wrong in that assessment. You're right. What we're saying is is after the kid is switched, now you stop your assessment. Uh -huh. And you like okay, now the assessment's over. My kid was cool. But you we're like, what about well. our kid that got dragged into you know that shitty situation? Yeah. Do they now not have the same you know eligibility as your kid to be like, no, nah, fuck that. I want my shit back. Uh -huh. And I was in this rough situation, so I don't know no better. Yeah, I spent my formative years being a, a, a kill him type nigga. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how, how is it any different? What you, well, I guess, like, maybe I'm confused on what you're saying. So you were saying that she was the hero, right? The original girl was, I would say, She had every right. right to do what she had to yes. do. Yes. Yeah. And I... Well, besides, I guess kill, I well, besides people. kill people. Yeah. yeah. Because you don't have that right no matter what. But well, her I think killing, taking some motion to try and get her life back yeah. is not... Wholly unacceptable. Killing her own right, tether. Right. I'd be fine with that. Huh? Killing her own tether is okay. You think? I I would. If, she if in that position. I would have. She basically in her. But why? Why is killing her own tether okay, bro? Because you just pulled me from my life. I get it. I get it. You were upset that you was on your spot. Yeah. I did not put you there. I didn't. I knew nothing about you at all. That's true. But true. you want to come and, and drive me down to this place, handcuff me to this bed, and like leave me there for what thirty years or some shit? Yeah. No, nigga. I'm, I'm gonna come and kill you. I wouldn't even have played those little games she was doing. I was just going straight to kill you. I would have killed that bitch in the dark and replaced her. I don't know, bro. That tether was hungry, bro. Why didn't she just leave? Why who just leave? The uh, original chick. That's she got handcuffed, and then I think after that, they probably just didn't let her leave. Yeah, I assume it has to be a thing where one has to be on the ground. But then yeah. again, how would I feel she like they come know. after you if you're gone. Yeah. yeah. So she replaced her, so it was just like, oh. But then that don't make no sense because them niggas can't talk, so say this is like... Yo, why this bitch talking? But I think like she, <laughs> yeah, she probably tried that, and they were just like, like, I don't know. There's a lot of that. That is a little holy there, but um. Yep. I love the escalator that goes so damn fast that you can't escape or something. Yeah. But they have the original. That would I, yeah, I don't have yeah, a good how answer to that. Out? I don't. Really get th there's enough. It's a horror movie, so like, yeah. truth be told, you're not supposed to care that, that much deep about into this, the yeah. logistics of it. But, but who it gives a fuck? We didn't do it. You said what? Cream? But it's a pill movie, so you expect, so everybody expects that it's going to be a lot of hidden messages, and they're going to try to close out any holes. Yeah, I mean, I see the hidden messages, but I think a lot of I mean, you know, why nice. they're why yeah. they're tethered or where they are was the part of the movie we're supposed to forget. Yeah, like we're just supposed to understand that like there is a group of people that are just like us that uh, come from a completely black different people. environment, huh? The tether, they're black people. The I wouldn't say that. Yeah, people. I didn't. I, I wouldn't I would say that. I, would I say they're the black. immigrants. I would say they're the poor and disenfranchised. I would say they're even the people who live in um, the, that one perspective that I saw on that podcast I was talking to is like uh, on a world level, the U.S. is very privileged. Like even the poor mm -hmm. people here are actually in a state of wealth compared to the rest of the third countries and the For third sure. world countries in the world. So it's like they're also those people. Those people that are living Privilege in extreme and poverty and like are like, well, you know, I'm making your cell phone, like I'm just like you, and uh, I I don't I get paid two cents an hour to make the shit that you call on the phone or like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm beat 
every day to, to get some low mineral for your your privilege to funnel your right. society. So, so essentially, they deserve to be called quote unquote Americans too. Yeah, I mean, like, if I, well, I don't know what Jordan's original intention was. If his original intention was just like the duality inside of America, then he's just talking yeah. about the yeah, porn disenfranchised yeah. and, and immigrants. Sorry about that. No, <laughs> it's still going. It's still going. It's, it's, it's already and that. The type of movie it is, like, just yeah. spoiling it, it's not already a spoiler. I, I spoiled myself before I watched the movie so I could pick up on more symbolism. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You intentionally did it. Yeah, yeah, I did that on purpose. Because oh, so I was fun. just like, I, I want to be able to no, like, that's work the case, a similar piece of lines. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it again, probably. Yeah, but that costs money to watch it. Twice. That's true. Shit, well, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about somebody a tethered. I hear oh, yeah. a tethered. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, if we really think about it, it could be that the uh, the privileged people are actually iPhone users, and the tethered <laughs> are niggas with Androids. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, respect us too. Wow. <laughs> hey, fuck y'all, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a kid now. This nigga switching iPhones. Now y'all shit green, nigga. <laughs> I'm coming for your ass. <laughs> wow. Oh no, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I pretty much ended up doing a review. But no, I really think that the symbolism for because one of the other parts that I noticed was like um, the way the tether communicate was in grunts, and I felt that was a nod to immigrants saying that like. Um, because a lot of people do that where they like an immigrant might still be speaking English, but they're like I don't know what the fuck they're saying. So I felt like the tether themselves had a way of communicating in grunts that they understood well. Like those grunts meant words to them, mm -hmm. but like the human or the privileged side saw it as like, oh, these niggas are barbaric. Mm -hmm. Like what the fuck are they saying? Mm -hmm. Like, so mm -hmm. I don't know. a lot of good points in the movie. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, that was so bad. Yeah. Big discussion we got. And. and there's a. I felt like there's a lot. Did you see it, Grams? Yeah, just saw last night. Did you notice all the red that happened in the beginning before um, the family was revealed? You said, did I notice all of the who? So, like, uh, Lupita, Lupita's character, every scene or most of the scene she was in before the, like, reveal of the tethered, she was, there was, like, red in the background. Oh, no, I never noticed. Yeah, like, when they were eating that food, she was eating, like, red strawberries. And then, like, when she was, like, shutting the light off, it was, like, a red lamp. Like, there was a lot of things which I think they were trying to say, like, you know, she's red before you found out. But that's She's a good actor, though. She yeah. was. She did very well. She's a good ass actor. Yeah, yeah. Actor. Actress. That's also uh, a theory that supposedly the little boy got swapped. Point point. Point. Yeah, I heard that too. Huh? What? The, the theory that the little boys got swapped. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Though. I saw that theory and it didn't make any sense. Yeah, I don't But there are already holes in the story, so. I mean, they just talk about him being weird in the tunnels thing. He liked to dig tunnels and he was weird. But, like, to me, what I saw it as is, like, if she's tethered, and right? She, uh, she and she had a baby. He could be what, wasn't he like half tethered technically like if we consider tethered to be like a bit different than a regular person like if i have a tethered baby in like the above well, world do they like are they just can no, i just no, consider them a human or like they are they a clone baby they are human they're the exact same so right. technically For he's clones. yeah that what makes you tethered i guess is being down there maybe being yeah so i just felt like oh well because i was just like oh well if no. she had a baby he's no, half no, tethered no, no, so he might be weird makes you a clone which makes you fundamentally different um, because, like, they can kind of control each other. Yeah. But here's my thing. Um, the children will then be equally the same, half tether, half human. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which makes them kind of like, however you treat the youngsters in this movie, you should treat the tether youngsters the same because they are effectively genetically the same, mm -hmm. half tether, half human. Um, technically, well, the, boy, the boys will be different. How was the little boy able to control his quote unquote tether version, but nobody else was able to? So I don't know if there was necessarily like um control. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. It, it was kinda weird, but I like the way they showed it is like um that last scene where they're like in the underground and they're replaying the, the thing that happened uh to Adelaide or whatever. Like they were all mimicking the actions of what was going on above world. So I think that there is a connection that they still have um, to where they, like, copy them. But I just they just didn't do a good job of explaining how he was able to activate it and how they, like, turn it on or turn it off. Exactly. Like, but it, it seems like it's, it's already shown that they mimic 
the actions of the people above world. It just didn't make sense. Because she danced too. Like, she danced in the same recital that old girl danced in. Like, right. It, they mimic each other's actions. Or maybe that was what was special about Red, which transferred to her son. I, I don't know. But... I, they just didn't do a good job of explaining it. I felt like I got I mean, he, why he, it happened, he but I think it. they sucked. He wants it to be like that, though. He wants yeah. it to, like... He wants it to be a bunch of holes so that niggas be theorizing hella shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe. A lot of interesting things. Um, yeah, I think the kid one is a bit of a stretch. I think that's just like he threw that in there mm-hmm. For to send it yeah. off. Exactly. The the kid being yeah, because uh, because then you focus on the kid the whole time, but the actual thing is like the mother. I mean, I think that might also just been a not a not to horror movies in general. Because mm-hmm. I mean, I don't watch a lot of horror movies, but I feel like that's a trope that like the little kid is special. Like, there's always like. I, I'm, I don't have like an example that immediately comes to mind but I feel like in well, horror exactly. movies where like there's a little kid there they always seem to have like an extra connection the with the yeah with it. the horror or the villain and I thought that the little boy was just playing to that mm-hmm. trope of like oh yeah they're the villains but like you know I'm that weird kid that's like connected to them somehow I agree hmm so it might have been something outside of like the symbolism and just like his nod to horror movies because I'm sure there were some other horror movie nods in there. I just don't pay enough attention to to care because I don't watch horror movies. Um, but yeah, hmm. anything else would y'all want to rate it then? Since we kind of already talked about it. Nope, I got nothing to add. You want to rate it though? Sure. You guys go first though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd probably give it Yeah. I can see myself I feel like I have to give any movie that I would watch a second time a lit ish. So I'd probably give this like a lit minus. A lit minus a decent as hell. I can't see it going to decent for me. Um having not seen it but thoroughly, thoroughly spoiled all the <laughs> shit and looked through it. Um I can say that for the symbolism I can give it a decent. Okay, um, decent. So I would you have you to see better symbolism in other places? For sure. There are shows that will, movies that will shit on this in symbolism, for sure. Really? Um, yeah, shit, mo- movies that, movies that niggas spend years teaching classes about. Like, yeah. You don't think this would be we'll, one of them? Let's put it this way. I feel like in a little bit of time, if niggas were able to dissect your shit that quick, then yes. Now, I'm going to wait a couple months, and if some more new shit come out, then like it was able to be further dissected but you okay. also i felt like you got to add the context of like oh, well i don't know what movies you're referencing specifically with more symbolism mm-hmm. but in our time frame like everybody's a fucking a pi bro yeah like I the the spread of that like si- like the dissection of the symbolism happens way faster now than then before yeah, like yeah. niggas had the internet yeah. like, I mean, like, like oh that now, was deep like i, I only tell my boyfriend i give yeah. a day at most <laughs> niggas have like whole like okay We'll see. Theories we'll see. on like as yeah. for right now, dissertations on that shit. <laughs> as, as for right now, if this is basically it, uh-huh. meaning that you saying they right, they basically rip that bitch apart in a couple days. If this is it, it's decent. Like okay. okay, it gave a message, but we already knew it was gonna give a message. I haven't seen the acting now. If the acting takes it to the, a lit, then yeah. sure. Right now, just from going off the, the theories, it's decent. Okay. I'd probably give it a uh, decent as hell plus. Okay. I don't really have a reason for not. I think like all the, all the like the the holes. It it just it just annoys me. I get it, but it it like, really annoys me. Not like knowing. Hmm. Yeah. Like Shit. you know something. The, watch the Matrix trilogy. Like if at the end of the day we watch the major show, the thing that I say is like a theory. Like what I'm saying is, if after a day we've come to the general consensus, this is what it means. Mm-hmm. Then it's not actually that deep. Yeah. Matrix trilogy niggas are still like, bro, it could mean this, it could mean this, it could mean this. Mm-hmm. Is Neo real? Like was he a machine to begin with? Is this part of the plan? Did he win? What the fuck happened? Yeah, like, niggas aren't sure. <laughs> and those Janikowski brothers or sisters, whatever they going about now, um, <laughs> did they th- change that? Th- yeah, oh. both of them. So I don't know. What? It's a Janikowski brothers on, on or Wachowski brothers on Matrix, but it's a Wachowski sisters on Sense Eight, bro. What? I don't know what they own, but whatever they own, I respect you. You feel me? <laughs> they shit kind of deep. Okay. And niggas still don't truly know the answer, and it's still mm-hmm. debatable. 
fair. Mm-hmm. Remember that that's like saying people are gonna debate whether the little boy was is was tethered or not. Like they'll never you'll never really have an answer to that unless Jordan Peele says, yeah. Oh yeah, that nigga's tethered. But obviously he can go do that. And then even then it opens up more questions because you like But then like, like what does that happen? do to the story? When the switch happened. Whether or not he's ter- tethered or not, how much does that actually change the story? In the case of the Matrix the answer to that about Neo completely changes the narrative How you of the whole story. The yeah. hmm. Whereas, like, oh, this nigga tethered. Well, he was just being weird. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I agree. But I mean, I still respect you. You know, Mr. Peel. Your shit's lit. Mr. Peel. Yep. Um. Okay. Uh, on to these manga highlights. Oh yeah, sorry, my bad, Grant. So, would you want to read it? All right, uh, I'm gonna give it a decent as hell minus. Damn, minus. So, that was the lowest. Uh, kind of similar to uh, what Deuce was saying, and it just urges it just irks me a bit when <laughs> a movie has parts of it that make it seem less realistic. Like, I'm I'm a big fan of of something uh, seeing something and be like, okay, I can see something like that happening. I have enough information to to you know make this seem like it's you know, possible for that to to become a thing and so forth, but that just seemed like there were way too many questions that just made it seem like, okay, this is 900% fiction, wouldn't couldn't possibly happen in, a, in an actual world or whatever, so that throws me off a bit, but it was still a good movie overall. Not true. So decent as hell minus. Okay. Hmm. All right. Honestly, these mega highlights. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I cannot vote that we make these kind of quick because we already hit like <laughs> two and a half. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. yep. True. Um, Boku no Hero. Both of these were weak anyways to me. So, I'm trying yeah. to think I what happened. 20, 221 and 222. Um, yeah. We found out that all the hands he carried, which we might have known already. Are like family his dead family, his supposed dead family members. I I believe all for one lied to him. To be completely honest, I don't know if he really killed all the motherfuckers, but yeah, he, I, I made think, it real odd. I think all for one lied to him on that. But I think he I think he lied to him as far as the fact of um. He said that his quirk mutated out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. I feel like low key all for one uh game the quirk. Oh. Or at least oh, just yeah, like set it up, oh. where he would actually get the pork itself. I killed but his whole family. As far as killing the fam, I actually think that happened. Oh, okay. Simply because it's just so that, that's that's weird for the hand thing for him to just make that up out of nowhere, just give him some hands to be attached to. Yeah, I feel like that'd be some really dark, creepy ish. Which I mean, like, yeah, he I, I guess he could do it, but I feel like that's too much. But mm-hmm. I, I don't know. But no, I feel like more more so all for one just game the court, mm-hmm. saw the massacre, said lols, and then kidnapped him. Got it. Well, I think he he um, planned his family to get killed. I mean, he and he gave it to him just because he knew that he would kill his family. Oh, uh-huh. right. bro. So yeah. Well, why was his memory foggy? What? Why was his memory foggy? Oh, try Alpha one could have that too, for Loki. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, playing all this, I'm playing all this shit on Alpha One, bro. Why is the sky blue? You know, Alpha One probably made that shit blue. I think it was gray before. Right, man. You saw his face. So this is like 100% Alpha One? Yeah, I can see him doing all this. Like, no problem. Oh, I could have said trauma. Suppressed memories. So. I mean, he became a target as soon as, like, he found out this was the kid of the last, you know, one for all. So. Yeah. I mean, but it's still odd to me because I'm like, if he used his quirk to like disintegrate him, right? I don't know. It just seems weird that just the hands are left. True. I mean, like logistically, I, I that's still weird. logistically that's, that's still the whole. Yeah. No, no. I mean, the only other thing would be just all for one literally controlled his entire memory of it completely, and then just literally just gave him some random hands. Yeah. Which I guess again is possible, but I feel like that's too that's that's too weird and out there, you know. Yeah. Like here's some hands to be attached to. Like I, I don't know. Like that idea alone just seems a little too much. So I feel like that's why it's the truth for that fact. I can alone. easily no. I can easily see him using his actual family member's hands. And he's just the one that killed him, and he used some type of power, some type of brainwashing power to to give you false memories Damn. to actually make you think that you killed him. Man, that's some creepy mother effing, man. Um, to add on to that, though, who do y'all think uh, Dobby got in the back pocket? Ooh, who do y'all yeah, think he was referring to? He oh, said he, I think it was Hawks. Hawks. You think it was Hawks for real? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, that was the whole setup. Like Hawks uh-huh. was like, oh, yeah, I remember man. they were talking like. Black I didn't think. Whoa, whoa, oh yeah, we know Hawks is a double double agent. Sure. Okay, I got it. I feel mm-hmm. that. I thought that maybe it was like uh, another hint at someone else besides Hawks. I think the, this was the back traitor. in time. Oh, it was. Oh, because right, he told right, 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 right. That's true. Oh, you think that oh, it was even right. before the Endeavor I, thing yeah, happened? Yeah, like before that. Endeavor thing. He was like, no, hey, bro, that makes, uh, Oh, that makes shit. Sense. So then I already I know. Oh, this is fucking fuck. stupid then. Because yeah. then that's I know what the other gift is. Right. The other gift was that no. What you mean? Hmm? So the the doctor said, "Oh, I got one more present for you." Like after this Gigato Machina stuff is figured out, I'm, my yep. guess is it's that normal. I don't oh, think no, it's that no, normal because no, 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 he gave no, no, no. high end to Dobby. He was like, "Oh, you about to go get somebody?" Well, hey, bro, take take uh, high end with you. The, and oh. that was the name of the special normal. Oh, okay. So that that nigga was going to kill Endeavor, fail, right. but try. Gotcha, it. bro. Because if you remember, sense. he got pulled out by the gunk. Remember, yeah. Dobby got pulled out by the gunk, and they don't got the the, the doctor got the gunk. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> no, that's logic. All right, well, but what you call? Well, I mean, there's still well then. So then, what's the theory of yeah, what? Yeah, that kind of ruins all this for me. This no, makes about the, uh, yeah about like what the, uh, the doctor's holding on. I mean, because you know, okay, it's some all for one type shit. Mm-hmm. And, uh, this whole thing made it much less right? interesting now that you made that reveal. Oh, <laughs> I like I'm killed sorry. the last two chapters because I was like, oh, now there's not even like really unanswered question. <laughs> There's well, still low key. I, I mean, the very last thing. Uh-huh. Right. I mean, the I mean, the hottest thing about like both chapters to me was just simply he said, "This is where the League of Villains got destroyed." Yeah. So I was like, oh, so new homies really about to put in work? Like, I'm actually a little surprised oh, yeah. by that. I knew he was going to put honest. in work. To be honest, I didn't think he was not going to put in work. This boy really? runs co- corporate America, like. I mean, he did choke out. He likes Luther to be his uh, assistant, bro. How many bosses you know can choke out their assistant? And it seemed like he had that. He like he's old, so he's been scheming this for like years. No, nah, I'm on my nigga Tomori mm. Shigaraki side, bro. Really? He about what? to get the dub. He the Deku of the bad guys. Bro. I mean, we know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. he's gonna beat him eventually, right. sure. But like, I just don't think. I mean, I knew he was gonna be a real villain. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, he's he's right. corporate America, bro. I just, I just was like, oh, that's a Lex Luthor. Ass yeah. nigga about to come up. But I mean, like, did you really think he was going to murk the League of Villains? Um, I think the League of Villains don't mean really. anything. Because what did overall do? Overall showed up and he killed one of the League of Villains. Like, they're not even <laughs> special. Like, the group itself is, like, yeah, he not that great. Like, I think the, those niggas, but I think tomorrow's the Huff gonna be niggas. Tomorrow's still going to be I think the Huff niggas going to get yeah. dropped and they're going to reform under a different name. Yeah, yeah. Exactly with, like, Gigato, Maki, and Dobby, like, the bangers. Yeah. Like, if you're not Twice. a banger, you're not on squad. Twice, twice is get, very useful. He got to. I feel like Twice got to make it over. Mm-hmm. I feel like Snake Homie going to be the no, one that died. Did. Yeah, he did. He I did. would argue he the one that, that gets That nigga ain't got a quirk. He's just like, him? The snake dude? <laughs> the no, loser, the dude who's there. The, the, the one who's yeah. telling the story. Dude who's there in the story, yeah. I think oh, he going to get dropped. Throw- yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, he's definitely gone. <laughs> All that nigga do is. Nigga, remember his last raw to, to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he talk. He talk like he's kind of like not built for this shit. He like when they started the story off, he's kind of like yeah, I kind of joined stain. for stain. Yeah, that nigga and now like, this nigga not here no more. I'm so a, like, I'm a, a farm boy <laughs> that was like, hey, I'm about to get lit in the city. Yeah. And join some gang bangers and was like, oh what? This. So all he's the friend from a comic got killed. He's episode one of a comic got killed. Yeah. The other two friends of what's his face that got murdered. Yeah. <laughs> they got murdered. Um, yeah, that's it. I just, DA yeah, don't get dropped, but I don't ever put any respect on the League of Villains, to be completely honest. I felt like he's, uh, Tomura is like a spoiled brat that just gets a lot of, like, OPS gifts. True. Like, someone's like, like, oh, here, by the way, here's a fucking laser like, gun. Just like Deku. I mean, yeah. Deku worked harder than Shirogaki. Yeah. The nigga did some push ups. <laughs> Just push ups? Come on. So now. Literally all he did. No, I agree. Deku De- 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 didn't work that hard. All Deku did De- was do. He's De- smart De- though. He know a lot about he know a lot of hero history. I'll yeah. give him that. Man. But he, that's it. He not even a great student. He mid to But I don't know if he what? I don't know if he um, Hey man, I wanna see you fight while your arms and legs are broken. What? Ooh, true. Okay, the nigga got made. Well, what about fighting with the trauma of killing your entire family? <laughs> yeah, oh, so like, oh, they have their hands, hands. Their hands oh, like cover you oh, the entire time. What about oh, that trouble? Oh, oh, oh. One nigga got to live up to being the heir of the greatest hero. Other got to live up to being the heir of the greatest villain. They both suck yeah. right now, but they they gonna get there. Also, right? at the same the time, the three. Wait, what? Then who got the advantage? Well, he yeah. turns to what? Because I mean, homie got powers on powers. Yeah. yeah. 
It ain't like he got off my of one. My nigga gonna get off of one, bro. He ain't got right now. Yeah, saying right now, yeah. yeah. So you think well, if they went uh, one on one today, they could win? Uh, yeah. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, bro. Uh, you saw you the karate he put on overall. Oh, hold on. He gave nigga that. <laughs> he could do. Yeah, Baby, do knock that nigga shit, head right? off. Can Deku do long distance shit? Yeah, what Yo, so right. He can deconstruct that hair. For Hell no, he can't do that shit. Facts. No, he can't. Facts. <laughs> hey, don't nobody hop on Tom Murray Shiga Rocky shit right now. I'm buying all the stock. 51% hey, control of shit. Hey, hey, we, saw that, we saw that Shiga Rocky could have killed his ass a long time ago in that mall. Yeah, that shit. Ooh, had that nigga by the he cheeks. Had that so shit it was on his neck. Killed it was done. Uh, he had that yeah. shit on his yeah. neck, bro. He said, it was all right. Don't let me do that today. It's when my nigga came through on him, clean as hell, he slid right up on him. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey God, that was that was Deku back in the day. That's Draw. still Deku, nigga. Hell no. You think he could beat up? That was less than six months ago. What? Yeah, it's been long it's for a us. It's a shonen. It's a shonen. They 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 power up every fucking two chapters. But the last chapter we went through showed that they ain't got stronger. That's literally what the whole chapter Hell was about. No. Class B got stronger. They did it. So he can oh, still slide up on that nigga. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, he, 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 he just hung. He had twenty percent. Class A just hung. He ain't that strong. That he hasn't. Like that was the whole arc saying none of them niggas got stronger. They ain't got as strong. They, no, it was saying they didn't get stronger. They were saying that like, Class B they've been doing good in school. But you know, I think Jaito could drop to, uh, Tomura. No. Stop it! Don't disrespect my <laughs> nigga. Like, <laughs> next, next, next manga, bro. <laughs> Cause it's about to get real disrespectful, bro. Like I see that. Next manga. All right, gentle with the uh, the twenty times Super Saiyan. What's up with One Piece? Why that nigga Luffy on, bro? Cause niggas get disrespectful. You weren't even in the chapter. Yeah. Come on, bro. Twenty times Super Saiyan, gentle versus Tora. Hey, they just laughed at Google when they was an upstart company. <laughs> we bringing it back full circle. Tomura is the Google. I don't think even at the, the end show. of the series, I'm gonna fuck with Tomura, bro. He is like you ain't gonna fuck with him, but he'll be like that. Yeah, you ain't gotta fuck with yeah. greatness. You don't fuck with Blackberry. He's the final villain. <laughs> huh? You said what? You don't fuck with Blackberry either. But he's the final villain. Black who? Blackbeard. Oh. Blackbeard is square, yeah, right. but he's strong. Yeah. I don't know, bro. I just, yeah. He's just not an interesting character. Yeah, he just petty. He's like all oh, of Sasuke's like, hatred in the like character. That's how I feel. But all no the shit I hated about Sasuke, like, is like split between him and Bakugo. Like, Bakugo has his, his, his sincerity. And then, like, all the villain shit that uh, Sasuke did is, like, in Tomura's body. Bakugo definitely want to date that kid. Yeah. He has all of that. Animosity that Sasuke had for Naruto, which is like, wait, you are better than me now. Like you was shit, bro. Like and now you're like, I worked for this, and you now. Are but like do you not level. know a nigga? Like imagine, I'm not gonna say their name, but imagine if Picky, that's what I'm gonna call him. If Picky just one day just was like, hey, bro, I do your job, but I'm better. Who? I ain't gonna say his real name, but a certain person you know, uh, I'm gonna call them Picky uh, instead of their real name, which sounds similar. But if one day that nigga uh, came <laughs> up, it was, like, it was like, hey, bro, I'm better than you at your job, bro. I mean, I and, and, your, and your boss, like, hey, we, we give you a pay cut because we got this nigga now. Oh! And he's yeah. just like, I've been a little. Oh, you're <laughs> a little bit angry. I'll be a little hot. So just imagine whatever nigga you know in your life that's like the weakest nigga. Like, oh, bro, this dude, he a bum. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. just one day he was just at your job like, hey, we got your new boss and there's this nigga. He like, hey, what up, bro? And he's just better than you. Damn. Like, I'll be hot. I mean, I see where the hate comes from. <laughs> I just, I've like, always understood that nigga Sasuke because I'll, I'll be hot if some bum nigga came up on me, bro. I mean, yeah, but and it's I just, can't work better than that nigga. Ain't nothing I can but do. But then, so, but like at the end of the day, though, right? <laughs> would you come back to the village? What? So you talking about right now? If the weakest nigga I know got hired at my job, it was going harder than me. Yeah. Nigga, I'm quitting and I ain't coming back, bro. It's on better than that nigga. Exactly. <laughs> if I come and back and I'm still back. weaker than that nigga, I'm gone. Exactly. I'm so, quitting the profession. So now you see my bro. frustration with Sasuke. <laughs> <laughs> he came back when he was. Just he came back. back. I dropped again and said, "Oh well, I'm gonna when just join the squad." Oh, we friends. When did, when did he get dropped? At the end of the series. At the end of the bro. series. He has a tie, nigga. That nigga work for Naruto. Yeah, okay. Hey, nigga work for Naruto. He's Sasuke fanboys never giving up. Naruto was like, hey, you gonna work for me <laughs> and you gonna fuck Sakura, bro? Put a baby in her, nigga. And then have that nigga go do missions. Sasuke got hoes. 
No, this, this nigga Naruto wanted to fuck Sakura the entire shit. No, he did. He gave up on Sakura nah, and, yeah. and, and Shippuden. Because he couldn't get her ass, boy. No, like, she tried to hop on his junk and he's all yeah. good. You say that's for you, Sasuke. Second, Sasuke was ready. Then. Sasuke yeah. didn't want no kids. He's like, hey, bro, we gonna need some more sharing guns in the village. Bro. Oh no, Sakura <laughs> <Chaka, Chaka> definitely <laughs> trapped that nigga. I'm like, gonna need you to fuck on Sakura. He was like Naruto, but no, nah, no. Nah. Remember what happened at the thing? <laughs> <laughs> and that was after I fought a whole war, right? <laughs> fuck Sakura, bro. Right now, God. we boxing. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Sakura trapped his ass for real. We need some more that leg closing ceremony right before the book. You know her legs strong. Yeah, you know her legs strong. Where you going, nigga? Why is there chakra on your feet? Where you going, nigga? Lock that shit off. That nigga thought he was just gonna get it for the night. He was like, yo, Sakura, what you doing? Huh? <laughs> hey, Goofy, you should have put her ass in a Genjutsu. I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't even done fucking. She's just like, I'm pregnant. No, I'm a medical ninja. Trust me, I know. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of semen in your, your pre ejaculation yeah, yeah. fluid. I'm pregnant. It's wow, what? So it's like I feel insemination. For real. Milk Damn. that nigga. Um, Got him. Alright, yeah. Fuck. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> that's what I got from that. Uh, Promise Neverland. I don't even remember what happened in that shit. You skip it forever. <laughs> Just doodle, baby. Oh, it was pretty much. <laughs> oh, like a flashback that Norman likes resolve. He's right. like, fighting it. He's not like. So whatever happened to Mama, bro? She good? She, she did, mama. right? Actually, I mean, we not fine. We not. No, 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 Mama ain't dead. If Mama comes What's back, her face got got. F and um, Chrome dead. Yeah, Big black Chrome yeah. got got. She got spilt. But no, nah, Mama. <laughs> oh shit! Too, I mean, she's rich is too big, bro. I don't know. God damn. I mean, if you have anything to add, I, I really don't have much to add besides you know the usual. I think Emma's dumb. Um, oh, I think course. Norman's. Semi on the right side, but his hatred is going to lead him to take a L. And right. you know, Ray is always going to be Ray. Like basically, whatever you, the screenshot you posted, um, uh, Gramps in the group chat. I heard some other people mention those same sentiments where Norman represents some version of good, and oh, the Ray represents some sort of version of good, and Emma represents like some oh, version of uh, good, like neutral, good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, chaotic yeah. good. D and D like, terms. But in my head, I'm like, I don't appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Like, knowing that, like, that debate, that conversation that they're trying to have, I'm like, this isn't the one going to do it. Yeah, it doesn't add any value to the story for me, knowing that that's what they're change. trying to represent. I would hate if the characters are stuck in that, like, oh, I'm always this. Yeah. Then that isn't, like, a fruitful story to me. Like, your characters don't change if they always lawful, whatever. Yeah. Like, I feel like all them niggas should just be some... This one would have been better. All them niggas was hardcore bangers. Like, bro, we done been through this shit. These demons evil. But, like, if Phil came back and was like, nah, you know what? I got fresh ideas. Like, he's like the new Emma. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is a growing story. Uh-huh. And then maybe he could have changed Emma's mind. But for her to just be like, no, no, nah, nah, let's say the demons. That's goofy. Yeah, it's like they killed your people, bro. You got to kill these motherfuckers. Like, you a cow, bro. That'd be like there's a cow out there like, no, we're not going to kill the humans, bro. We gonna save these niggas. Fuck! They what? killed and then they all killed that cop. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's move this nigga, bro. We <laughs> <laughs> gonna milk this nigga, bro. Wow! Don't fool them. Um, yeah. Anything you want to think? Um, yeah. we get to see that they're like, I don't know if they're going crazy or uh, something going on with their heads or whatever, but uh, sure oh yeah, yeah, they died. Their pain was about to explode or something. Oh. True. That's a good note. They low key dying, yeah. so they Maybe got all a lot gonna of time. die one day. That's probably going to become important when they're getting ready to work. Well, yeah. I'll say when they're boxing with the demons. Pretty yeah. much. And out of nowhere, all the homies are just going to pass out or some shit. Mm. Probably, the leader's probably going to ring some type of bell and they're just going to pass out. And they're going to be like, yes, what you going to do now? So, all your muscles go. Can I say this? I see that we about to move the black clone. Yeah. Are we officially moved to Black Clover? I, I, I don't have anything like else to add. Huh? I don't have anything else to add. Jacoby, I mean, my oh, juggle, uh, juggle. I do. Uh, I actually, I actually do want to give a little, uh, give some props to Norman. Like after, okay, so at, like after one twenty eight, I was like, really, Norman? You gonna let Emma sway you after like you've been on this route for like so long? Yeah. And literally one twenty nine answered my own question. 
and was like, you already know Norman, a real one. You about to stick to this plan and get this board done. And I was like, there you go. All right. He said some, I don't want to be a god or a devil. I don't give a fuck. Let's get this work. I was like, respect. So I just want to give that shout out to him. That's what's up. Yeah. But no, that's it. All right. Auto Black Over. What's up? Um... So I recently got all my niggas into watching Black Clover. Yeah. Um, Great Sword is all caught up. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, Quentin. Anime wise. Yeah, anime wise. Yeah. I just don't don't fuck with the manga. I like the animation. It's fun to watch niggas yeah, do that. Yeah. Don't fuck with the manga. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, Quentin, that he was too thirsty. Yeah, so he, he caught was. Up on it was that fairy tale shit. He caught up on the yeah, he yeah, up on that fairy tale shit. He liked the hands. Mm-hmm. Wow. In like a day, that nigga, yeah. uh, he was all yeah, I caught I up to the anime. Show. And then like a day later, he was like, yeah, so I'm, I'm caught up in the manga. Like I was like, nigga, <laughs> what are you doing? Like, <laughs> and that's what he's doing. Like thirsty. Next he was always like, wow. But uh, Oscar's stupid. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the moral of the story. <laughs> That's it. What, what triggered the realization that he's an idiot? I think because Quentin was like, yo, you know, he was basically saying Asta wasn't stupid. Yeah. And that like, you know, no, any random nigga couldn't have done what he did. And I was like, you feel me? If the nigga does not have mana, yeah. they could have done what he did. Like, Deku could do what he did. Yeah. Like, that nigga not great. His items are great. But you just argue, you argued that opposite point yeah. like two episodes yeah. ago. Nigga. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> You argue that. What do you argue? He argued that Austin awesome got yeah. got all that shit on par work. That no, basically everything he just said that he said oh, was what he was just because this nigga tried to say he was two three good. episodes ago, and I tried to say he he I right, bro. Yeah. So like yes, if you put that <laughs> item in a regular nigga hands, they do nothing. But there are exceptional niggas. Like if if Yami could hold that sword, yeah, it's he would be just as good as, as uh, Asta. Better, probably, right? yeah, better. He'd be better. With, uh, well, he grown, so you know, let Asta get there first. You feel me? But no, it's fuck that. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> he better. <laughs> so like more of the story, y'all were arguing that you know Asta was just the shit. So I had to bring that down. Yeah. he was uh, arguing that you know. Also, was too up there. You feel yeah. me? I, said, I got level y'all. He was out. arguing that he was a rock lead, but he really was a Kiba with a nice That's sword. What I'm saying. Yeah, I got you. Well, Kiba's pretty good. Kiba is worse than Rock Lee. Than Rock Lee, yeah, but Kiba not a hole with the tight juice yeah. at all. He just he way just, worse than Rock Lee. Yeah, mm. Rock Lee worked hard and got that. You know, what I mean, Rock Lee could be a main character on his own. Is what they're like trying to say, but no, Kiba no. is like, no, you're still garbage. But like now, if I give you this special item. Yeah, now, now you better you like, Oh, yeah, actually, are you a main character now? Um, Where are they at in the anime, anyway? Out of curiosity. Uh, so, they about to start this uh, tournament. tournament to see who will oh, be the royal knight. Right, 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 Here right, we right, go. Right. Okay. Is lit? Is about to get lit? Or no? You so, do, you met Zora, right? Some decent fights. No. You haven't met... Oh, my bad. You don't know his name is Zora. Zach Slunger. What do you look like? Like the... Uh, he he the has this thing over his face, and he just oh, trapped he a nigga by now. He and the... In the commercial. Black Clover Squad, right? Oh, he, he not, he, not, he showed up in the show, but he in the like the the intro. Some red hair nigga. Yeah. yeah. They go, he in the I intro. thought so. You didn't see nobody get banged, like they before the thing boxing. happened. No, no, no. Like before the art kicked off, there should have been like somebody walking down the alleyway that got run up on by somebody. I probably oh, don't right. I do not give that. Black Clover my fullest attention. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna lie. That makes sense. Last thing that happened is Mary Leona was like, "Hey, bro." We about to go run up this volcano, yeah. and Asta yeah. basically got even stronger. Character. But I had to put some respect on her name because at first I was like, "All oh, these niggas, they be hyping up goofy niggas." She probably a red riot ass nigga. <laughs> then she grabbed that nigga Yami like, "Come here, yeah, nigga." Bro, stop I'm playing. To the Tell her, bro. son. If you stop grab playing Yami on like that, Leona. You don't want it. Because Yami, Yami be one of that niggas. You want to die? She was yeah. like. Come on, man. <laughs> man, man nah, she be sunning niggas, bro. Oh, oh, so she must be grown. That or yeah, shit fire. Yeah, y'all be dead in there. Like the nah, y'all, y'all, y'all be definitely, y'all be definitely smashed. Yeah, stop. Nah, come on. You got this shit Please. brushed up. Yeah, yeah. First of all, Rose bitch would definitely kill her if, if he smashed. No, yeah, she, she would get killed. Yeah, he can't kill her. Her. She, can't she would get killed. <laughs> she would still be smashed. That's true. That She'd be the perfect side woman. Cause I've it's like up. your regular woman definitely can't run up on Mary Leona, and, and she you don't know, want you know that pussy fire, but at the same time, like you, but like I feel your feelings is hurt after sex with Mary Leona. Yeah, Cause she kind of just she like, like that was it. <laughs> I'll call you back next yeah. week. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> Fuck out of my She like, what? Go give me a beer. Fire recovery magic. Go, Go give me a beer. <laughs> 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 
Oh, Stop God. you, man. Stroke like, nah, yeah. actually, I was weak, bro. You done. <laughs> Pick it up on your head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taught you to the side. That's Next. A, you know, I stopped having sex for like a couple months. If I'm mid stroke and the girl just like, nah, stop. No, this week. What if she just screamed next? You seen that? Is it VT show? Yeah. <laughs> It's a mother nigga right Come on, bro, get out. <laughs> I'm up. <laughs> bro. Wow. I quit. Lined up, bro. Wow. Next. Yo, did the next nigga move? Yeah, no way. <laughs> bro, stop pushing up behind me, bro. <laughs> Niggas just in the closet waiting. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Anyways, on oh, to this, on to this uh, chapter, bro. Uh, there was nothing think. special that happened here. I thought the Magic Emperor was for the make an appearance, but uh, that didn't right, happen. Um, and then you know this Dark Elf shit, which I'm kind of like. Oh I man, no, I thought the Dark Elf stuff was stupid. It was interesting to find out about like the origin of the Five Leaf Clover. That was slightly interesting. Yeah. I want to know that. Can I get spoiled on that? From what he literally only had like one little bubble on it, mm. but it's supposedly supposedly elves are the ones who get four leaf clovers because they're like the most magical, magical thing. Yeah, right. So just magical imagine all elves got four leaf clovers. You get a five leaf clover when you put an elf in like a situation where they just lose hope. So it's there's like, some hoes, right? So it's like imagine like Naruto becoming tail beast. That's kind when of they wild. become tail beasts, their their grimoire becomes a fighting cloak. I'm a little That's salted much how that on is. that. Mm. A little salted. Like, I thought it was going to be something like a demon or something. Right. I mean, demons are involved. Demons are involved. But <sighs> if it ain't a demon in the book, that shit was. I mean, just right. I mean, they were kind of setting it up where like five leaf clovers were just demon grimoire. So then, what's that thing but. that took over Asa? Is that not a demon? That's um, the thing. That's still technically a question, low key, based on how they described the five leaf clover, which is a little odd. That nigga just clucked. But they they <laughs> did say though that Asta, uh, that Asta's five leaf clover though was supposed to be the demon's grimoire. Okay. So he had to make another one to get one, which also leaves also questions as to like how he jacked his grimoire. Like there's there's still a couple of questions out there, low key. I guess it makes but, sense because I mean his his um swords pretty much do what he says in words which is just like negate anything you fucking do so. True. but I mean like he can create shit too bro. that too yeah that heal yourself shit I was just like bro, oh yeah no that's he's broken this nigga's level of fire you just gotta armor. talk like you would have to literally just like I yeah, don't know so and I was just like uh, you could've just mm. said all y'all niggas dead there gotta but be that, some that plot armor is real <laughs> uh, well Asta's magic so, is never giving up so what <laughs> He says that a lot. I don't know if he say that in the anime. No, the bro. I think he, no. yeah, that's an extra line. He <laughs> says that shit a lot. <laughs> when I say... He said that at least up? ten times so far. I think he said that in the most. What the fuck? He don't say that in the fucking time, bro. He didn't say that for at least the last, like, 60 chapters. He said that shit at least once an arc. Yeah, I don't know My magic's never giving up. Yep. Because, uh... Uh, yeah, it. I mean, other than oh, that, uh, uh, Nozzle showed up and he basically just admitted Yo, that he bodied the dark. He's elf. on the he, I feel like he admitted he's on the same tier as uh, Asta and Yuno, which I was kind of like, that's, I'm, I'm that's that's oh weird. yeah, no, that was hard. That's true. Because he was said, I'll be the next man. That was what we're gonna do. I was I like, like it. nigga, I why are you competing like with these niggas? Bro? Them stupid. niggas talking about like they don't beat the Magic Emperor. He's saying, so y'all know you gotta wait in line, nigga. I'm. I'm in front of you. This is I guess, but I'm just like, you know, say that to, you know, my nigga Yami. Yami gonna be Magic Emperor, he gonna beat anyway. Jack the Ripper, my nigga Fuego Leon. Them niggas don't wanna be Magic Emperor. Can a foreigner be Magic Emperor? Can a foreigner be Magic Emperor? You know, like... Ain't there like a all all power power yeah, might, might be I thought power. it was all power based for the be emperor straight up. Is That's that? goofy. What if a defective clover or club nigga like, yeah, bro, I'm on y'all side, becomes magic emperor, and now y'all fucked. This is a stupid policy. <laughs> I think hey, it bro. needs to be changed. Hey, no no sumo. About, yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, we got to talk about that. Uh, too, uh, but anyways, uh, I, I, I mean, I will give so some big ups <laughs> though, just to just to say it. I mean, it, it did look legit, and it reminded me of Gara. So Gara, my, you know, Loki, Golden, Naruto. So. Uh, God. Uh, okay. Anything? On to uh, One Piece. Uh, I have nothing to say, but this last chapter was trash. 
Gummy we, gummy no? Waste of papers. Waste oh, of time. No yeah, y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all, oh, yeah, I was pissed about that too. We knew about the Kiku thing. Or whatever the fuck the sister, Curtis, Curtis and whatever. We I'm lucky that. pissed that it wasn't the actual main courtesan. Because now. It is. No, it's, it's not. not. That's the thing. No, it is. Bro. I thought it was. Iori was just a basic chick. The oh. main courtesan got spilled. No. Bro. Oh, yeah. No, bro. What is that? I thought that no. was what? the main courtesan that, that had her. That's her. What? That's no. Her. I thought yeah. the main courtesan got got. What you mean? No, I mean, she got got, but it was fake got. Right? What? <laughs> no. Right? No. Shit, From how, know. if I remember this correctly, she had the same, same. Uh, there was some things that was the same about what they were wearing. Yeah. At that, uh, at that event. What? I can't remember exactly what, but. Yo, I'm going back in time. From how I understood it, main courtesan got spilt, and Hiori already had homegirl like right when it was starting to get real. Like main courtesan slapped him, the shogun, oh, right? No. And then yeah. the effing Hiori. Scooped up Otoku and they started running away. Right. That's what I thought. What happened? No, I thought Robin so, was running away with her at first. That's what I thought. It was too. Robin running away with her. Yep. So at some point, Robin Ooh. like switched up, gave her, gave the girl back to. Pull it up. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Man, which pull it up. The, the Two chapters to go. I assume. Uh, nah, nah, it's longer than that, yeah, Loki. Hell no. Yeah, yes, it, it is. Longer than that. The <laughs> It's like 9.32. When Nami called down, yeah, what's your face? Nami. That's like a, fuck, what chapter is that, dude? Um, okay, so we had all the breaks. Actually, wait a minute. Let's see if I can get back in time my notes. Okay, 1.34, they still setting up the... I think it was 9.32. Yeah, um, it was like definitely like before 9, 9.34. Oh, wait, it might be 9 trip trip. Try that. He's a trip trip. Trip trip. <laughs> <laughs> it's either trip to or trip trip. <laughs> How is one piece not the first thing that come up when you type in it? Yeah. Need to surf in the trash. See the Shogun and the Curtis in 932. Alright, try that. <laughs> I do the pages that that kiss me and me has the whole thing in one time. Yeah, I have it all, swear it should all fucking. What the fuck? Oh. What the fuck? Damn. Alright, well, we're not gonna figure it out. We'll have it for that's the next up. episode. Yeah, I'll, I'll check that out. Uh, Damn. I mean, if that's the case, then fine. But what I originally thought was me and got got, and this is just a rando that they just made Hiori, uh, which was which which got me hot. Cause gotcha. I was really like, really, just going to throw her in there like that. But no, if she's the main courtesan, then fine. Then everything kind of makes sense again. Yeah. And Robin was just scheming like usual, which is fine. I'm down for that. But um, let's see what else happened right now. What well, secret? Um, I mean, we caught Zoro lacking from once. Um, in the chapter before this one that we you say what? Before. Oh yeah, when um, they caused Zoro lacking. I mean, granted, homie that's petty bad. though. That shit that's was dumb. Been... Really? It was dumb, bro. Like in, in, it doesn't make sense. Why? How Zoro of all people getting this random style with some random nigga? <laughs> Boy, you <laughs> just, you <laughs> fanboy hard for these things. <laughs> How is a fan boy? Like, I just feel like you look at everything from Zoro from from. Yeah, no, know, he's he's never. It doesn't make sense. Like, 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 like it's not like a like a, the story doesn't make sense. I think this entire arc is kind of. I mean, they try, I think they just trying to say Giko Mar or whatever fucking Br- Bandit Bridge dude name is. He oh, like Mickey, man. He up there. You said call him. No, Mickey? yeah, the bandit, sure. But I'm talking about the siphon niggas want to stab. No, him. but he got caught oh, by lagging because yeah. the this dude tried to stab him, right, and then he, he like dodged that from behind. That's why he made for the. That's all we know. Would have like did nah, some shit. Nice. Not when dude is, but that's what I'm trying to say. If dude is up there like Jack level, for example, the bridge bandit dude. Then he's more worried about him than Scythe dude. I don't think I think he would have gave Scythe dude a full L if it was just one on one. Or even why does it all pass out? Huh? Why does Zoro pass out? Because oh, he lost too much blood. Bro, he was, he was in a, a whole blood. pool of blood after Kuma gave him like Luffy's oh. like power, like pain. That's just shit, just dumb. I mean, I guess I see what you're saying. I mean, I, of course it's just a plot thing, but I'm yeah. saying like, if you're going, you can't make Zoro super strong in one instance and then the next instance don't make him be super strong. Well, well, we'll see when he takes on King of Fire. <laughs> <laughs> 
Low key, yeah, he's, gonna, he's, he's bringing him down to Sanji level. That's all he's doing. I think this is <laughs> he said bringing him down to Sanji. Yeah, that's all he's doing. He had to take a lot Ooh. more else to bring down to Sanji level. No, bro. I don't think so. Come on. Bro. What are you talking about? You ready to about? put Zoro Sanji? You know, Sanji, I'll, I'll, Sanji just I'll, showed up trying to save niggas and took an L right no, after that. No, Sanji just beat um the di- dinosaur nigga. Who? They were the same level. Did he? Wow. Who was he? Know? Who was at the, the swim place? I don't even know who was at the uh, bathhouse. That was Drake. That was a uh, yeah. I feel like Sanji ran things. away. I feel like Sanji run up on that nigga and then like after a while he just used that invisible shit in depth. Maybe. Or been tweaking. Yeah, Mookie's still a little salty about that. Oh, they should have finished off that fight. <laughs> He's anyway. been tweaking this entire, like, fake, what's it called? Arc? Mm-hmm. No, like, Saga? Yeah, this entire, right. like, saga. The first part, no, acts, yeah. The, the first act, I think, was better. Mm-hmm. Like, when Luffy got dropped. Yeah, 100%. The second, the, the second saga. But, uh, but I think we all, like, no matter what, if I go anywhere, like, in One Piece and I see Luffy get dropped, like, I'm happy. I yeah, felt, I felt good about yeah, it. It was like, like it was but he could drop by like fucking Bucky. Like, huh? he could be dropped nah. by like, if a no name little kid, no, if a no name little kid walked up and said, fuck, <laughs> and knocked Luffy the fuck out, I'd play it too. That channel was lit as hell. Damn, you a hater, man. Hey, y'all would get on me, bro. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's how I feel about it. Goofy out of here. He talked too much shit, bro. I would just say that. You know that little kid how hockey, bro. I'm, I'm <laughs> that little kid that'll next be like the next Yonko out of hundred percent. Like he is. Once you drop Luffy, you are. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, what was I about to say? Oh, I also think um, part of all of this with um, Zoro is also to put a hype on the sword itself. Because uh, like they mentioned it a few times now, but um, the legend Ryuma that, sword, right? That Ryuma murked the dragon. That nigga using a false sword. I feel like that's gonna come back at least to be like some hardcore help against um, Kaido when they really no, fight him. Maybe the King of Fire. Yep. <laughs> Who's King of Fire? King. That's, hey. what, they, that's what they call him. Yeah. King of Fire. Oh, I thought his name was just King. Nah, bro, his name is King of Fire. So what is Queen? Queen of Poison. Queen of Poison. It's Queen the of the Plague. Queen of the Plague. Mm. And then Jack the Drought. Jack the Drought. Like, Draw three, Lil Wayne. Yeah, Jack's trash. Right. <laughs> Jack is trash. But anyway. Uh, yeah, I, mean, that, I don't know if there's anything special with uh, One Piece besides those two things. Right. Because we're lacking. I think Gikumaru. Yeah, the hockey thing, I guess. The bridge band. It doesn't oh, yeah, that's a good question. Thing. You oh, think I homie's going to get a plus because of this? Or? Who? Wait, go ahead, Grimps. I was gonna say I think they're trying to have a funeral for Shorty Ass also. They canceled it, he said. Oh, yeah, though, it got canceled. Who? What? I'm guessing that they. I'm guessing that there was some reason that they showed uh, the guy who's the leader of the mafia. He's probably going to low key be a traitor of um, of a Rochi. Yep. Yeah. Oh no, I'm I feeling that too, Loki. Yeah. I thought that from the day I seen his ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't respect uh, Rochi like the other niggas did. True. He didn't give a fuck. He kind of gave off uh, what's my call field um, a geen from Bleach. I'm kind of oh, getting that yeah, feel from yeah. Oh, always smiling. Yeah, yeah. I told you to stay smiling and stay scheming, bro. True. Closed eyes and, and smiling. <laughs> Closed eyes and smiling. That's it. What was that other thing? Was um, you Luffy. said oh, the Luffy in the hockey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hockey, the man. rally hockey. Do you, y'all think homie gonna get he a hockey boost from this? Or no, he was talking about when he was talking about it. Yeah, he right, when he was talking. I mean, it's almost like homie's gonna use like all these uh, fodder just to get some hockey boost. Uh, I'm not surprised. I mean, I I don't give a fuck. I don't like that this. I don't like that. Um. This arc is, or like this new phase of One Piece is Luffy learning stuff that I felt like you should have just knew before you left the island, bro. Yeah, true. Like, why, why are you learning this now? Why aren't you learning it on the island? Because that boy's special. How would he have? That's right? true. First of all, first you episode of One Piece, my nigga was rolling around in a bucket. True. Waiting until he bumped into some niggas. Which that boy, Luffy's special. To- He's special, boy. Why do you always taste like that? <laughs> He don't mm-hmm. think regular. No, he was. He really <laughs> don't. <laughs> <laughs> was like, I'm getting this bucket and float. Fuck you, mean? like what? He old dumbass. Yeah, he an old dumbass. Right, no, don't want to drown at any moment. That I liked because of that part of it. Mm-hmm. Um, it, and it's because it helped us realize why we never saw the actual hockey before the timepiece. It's because all of the characters most likely had this little invisible shield instead of that black armament that you would see. Um, on people's weapons and body parts or whatever. Hmm. Well, what I what I figured is that we were seeing it through the eyes of Luffy, to where like Luffy didn't know what hockey was, 
So we couldn't see hockey because the main character himself didn't know what hockey was. And until he figured out what it was, <laughs> I'm still believing that. Key. That nigga just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it was always a thing. It's all plows. I mean, they did. It was always a thing, though. The hockey thing? From yeah. back in NL. He, was, he, was, he had hockey. Who did? Oh, oh, yeah, NL did have hockey. I forgot about that. Right. Arm in hockey yeah. just didn't get hot. Oh, I got Sam, hockey. Luffy's granddad had hockey. Oh, uh, but by then we kind of knew what it was, though. No, I'm saying we still didn't see it. Is what I'm saying. You didn't. See oh it. yeah, when he smacked him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah, I guess that could be the the Riley form of hockey. You're right. No, um, but he was saying that he wants to try to shoot off the the armament, like what um, what Ray Lewis did to that elephant when he tried to stump him. Yeah, but I don't know if he was. What made me realize that's some some level of armament hockey that you can't see. That you can essentially wrap around your body and blast off like a shockwave. See, I thought that was just some anime extra bullshit. You know, they be adding extra shit in. Like, you know, like the fat guy who Luffy was fighting. I went mean, like. Oh, the sumo kid. Yeah. Uh huh. With ass. Yeah. yeah. I think it's what he was doing. He just block. He just like block all this shit. Like kind of like Kuma almost. He just yeah. Like, bop, bop, block you. But I, I. Oh, when the admirals just put their hands out and block. Block I guess it, shit. it just plays in my theory of like there's uh, the tiers of development in hockey, yeah. like dog tooth and uh, his level of observation, and I feel like there's like probably another tangent of observation which is like what Usopp has, oh, where it's like not that Fuji I see Tora the future has. but like really good yeah, Fuji Tora, vision. I guess. What does Fuji Tora have? He just, he just knows he can see everything. That's true. Like, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. Kind of so thing. I think this is the same thing with Bull Shoku. We're just showing that there's like different, different types, types yeah. of it, mm. like and there's gonna yeah. be niggas that are experts in. Like, just like Vegapunk was an expert in, like, the full body shit, but I felt like he, uh, his observation hockey was probably uh, weak. What's the name? I mean, yeah, not Vegapunk, uh, yeah. Vir- Virgo. That would be funny. Oh, Virgo yeah. was. Yeah, um, man, that was his mastery, was like, oh, yeah, I could do the full body shit. He won't even. So. No, no, no. He's just a specialist, nigga. That's all. Mm. And Luffy now can, like, see into the future, I guess, right? To Ted? I guess, yeah, okay. a tiny bit, I guess? Yeah. Oh, it's man. Still it's still unrefined. Shit, you don't get queen hands and then you don't dip. Nah, <laughs> you really I'm telling you. Nah, the only thing. Probably Big Mom for the coming record. Nah, well, I mean, yeah, Kyle, even I that. Think well, Kyle Mach well. is coming in for the save for sure. And then if Big Mom shows up, she's like the the two piece finisher where she just like, hey, bro, yeah, like you definitely like we out. No, nah, they gonna like, fight. Done. Like they've been saying, like how he likes those food. He was the food he was eating. That's the yeah. food Big Mom likes too. Mm-hmm. So they gonna, oh, they gonna they fight for, or over some oh. food. Oh, Queen? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Over some dumb food. <laughs> this hog is so <laughs> stupid, bro. I don't like Oda's quirkiness, bro. Uh, I don't. Sometimes. Nah, man. Most times. That, this is the hard... I think this was the biggest barrier of entry to anybody in One Piece anyways. They hate the way the characters look. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They hate the way... That's old, That's a part of Oda's quirkiness well, yeah. to me. Like, they hate the way the characters look and the jokes and, like, the story be, like, a little bit old. It'd be, to it'd be, it'd be too Japanesey. I, I feel like those are, like, Japanese... Like a lot of things we don't, it's not part of our culture, you don't yeah. really get. True. But the Japanese thing is probably dying laughing at this shit. <laughs> I guess. True. They go crazy up this shit. Oh man. Shit, what if this is like the One Punch Man in their, their world? Wow. Nah. Like all this Luffy shit was like a joke. Like we see it as like, oh man, it's a real show and what real world building really means something. Yeah. And in Japan, they're like, yo, this is the funniest manga I've ever read. Mm-hmm. This shit is all a big fucking joke. That's why they love it. Like One Piece doesn't even have anything in it. You know how mad everybody in America will be? And everybody in Japan just laughing. But they it's just like, it, it's like, your dreams. No, and then like, we're like just the like this. What if, wow. yeah, we're like, what if we think this friendship no. shit is like, because from our perspective, we see this friendship shit as like real. Mm-hmm. But what if they all understand that it's a joke? Yeah, like, what, like the, the it's translation, a joke there's a slight translation there. Yeah. Like, or cultural just difference. Yeah, yeah where they, he been sprinkling the hints all along. We just don't know what the fuck <laughs> you're right. wow. But everybody in Japan like, I already know this shit is gonna end, bro. I'm mad. I'm mad. That'd be crazy. Yeah, that'd be what? The whole point. I'm telling you, I, I, I have a strong belief that there's nothing in one piece. I gotta run up and then, up. like, all they're gonna do is smile. I'm gonna pull up on Hoda in Japan. All they're gonna do is they're gonna open that chest. That's 15, that's 15 years of my life gone, nigga. They're gonna open that chest and a single bubble will pop out. And then Luffy's gonna smile, Usopp's gonna smile, Sanji's gonna smile. They're all gonna smile and they're gonna realize it's because the whole point was the journey. So check it out. We That's all gonna go to Japan, you, go to a book signing from Oda, and <laughs> jaw that nigga, bro. <laughs> Beat his old ass. Hey, I'm not sleeping wow. on that, bro. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Somebody gonna lose their arm. That's why everybody got it. <laughs> oh, they can't cut everybody. I'm right not now. going. <laughs> I'll be I'm cool. I'll sit there and watch y'all do it, though. <laughs> you know Oda's well protected, bro. 
No, we're going to go shake his hand. They and shit. need them hands. If oh. I can shake his hand, I can hit him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> He's a national treasure. Ooh, what he, just, he just like Keto dropped your ass, bro. He just flipped you over. What, what, if, what if I try to steal him? That nigga dropped me. And then he was like, all right, you making One Piece 2 about Luffy's son. And then I just, y'all never see me again. Wow. Wow. One Piece 2 just started coming out. No, <laughs> oh, dude. Some type oh, shit. No, dude. <laughs> no, dude. Two Piece. Nah, bro, you can pull on a random ass uh, teenage girl and drop your ass. You gonna be the new lock drop. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, as long as Ooh, I ain't getting no Baba, I'm true. okay with that. Ghetto Baba is a new live drop in 2019. Yeah. Mm. So I really just. Wow. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, on to, um, I guess, the tomorrow no soup. Oh. Yo. Oh, shit. You don't watch it? Alright, I'll skip over it. Skip uh, and then uh, I'll just, I'm just going to give him my MVP and then basically do the mm. review of my MVP. I don't. <laughs> my. my Xbox and my computer out of commission right now, so yeah. Oof. I'm my oh, hands. Tough, tough, tough. You get that Google Sandia box. Wait, is no. Wait, what the? Oh, this is a work computer. It's shitty. Damn. Uh, yep, that's why um, I'm using it. <laughs> but yeah, that sucks. Man. MVP of the week. Uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and give it to Hidden Mario Sumo yeah. the anime. That was a great ending. Yep. That was a great ending, man. I had to feel all bit, the bit. feels was there. Oh, it's done. Is, is it wrap? Yeah, it's pretty over, much. Bro. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it it's continuing. Over. So oh, nothing. No more it. seasons. Uh, there might be like another season of them in the pro league, but Ooh. the high school part is done. So is he a? He no, a no. spoiler free. Oh, spoiler free. Oh, well, yeah. I'll leave it alone. All okay. I'm gonna say is there's some like weird shit that I felt like it's kind of odd that he had that's like stuff that had to happen after the conclusion of the anime. That I was like, uh, you guys kind of fucking up this person's life, but whatever. I guess sumo is life. You might know what I'm talking about. Oh, is I he, can't is remember he a, what you could be talking about. Is he a up. pro now? I can't spoil it because Grimps. Grimps oh. is listening. All right, I'll, I'll go ahead and say it. I'll shut up. I'll, I, I cut the mic off. All right. So he ends up winning. So he's a pro. Yeah, he's a pro. But they, in order for him to be a pro, he has to drop out of high school. Oh, that's what you mean. That's so I'm like, bro. <laughs> well, I mean, that's pretty I much mean, what I just he, said sumo that's was what life. He wanted, though. Yeah. Yeah, but he all gonna leave his homies? education, huh? Yeah. He gonna leave his homies? He yeah. Is. Oh, he a bitch. Yeah, he left. I mean, he a bitch. He a bitch. He a bitch. I mean, we gotta forget though. though. Like half the squad was gonna leave. He still anyway got two more time. years. See, cause he a bitch. He don't think he can make it back. That nigga literally looked at my nigga Lee Frog and was like, "You ain't it, bro." And went to the <laughs> league while he could. That's what I'm saying. Well, he everybody else went to the league too, though. Bro. All the other top niggas besides like the that I'm one weird one. one. What about uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, other flame guy. Uh, was it Chihiro? Chihiro? No, he didn't. He was quite. He was really like. Say oh, what still. happened to the rest of them, which makes me think. Yeah. And then, like I've seen, like uh, the mega has like some sort of a time skip. But I don't know if it's like a OVA chapter or like actual continuation of them in the pros. But from what I saw before I even saw the ending, like Chaharu does sumo in, at the pro level, mm. um, and then Hinomaru sumos at the pro level, Kuze sumos at the pro level, and then the other guy Tenoji. Kuze, yeah, who? <laughs> Karate? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. That's Kuze, Go- long hair, long hair. Yeah, Snake that's Gojo. Man. Gojo is is that okay. Kuze? Yeah, I was like, like if that nigga made yeah. it, I was like, fuck this and, show. And Tenoji, um, yeah, Tenoji. Tenoji yeah. makes it at the pro level, huh? Is Lee Frog gonna be a pro? Bro, they had me thinking because there was a moment. I swear, there was a moment where he got a little. It was a little, a little no. bit, and I was like, he but he stole his move again, cause um, Kuze oh. tried to like do this. This god hand move on him, mm-hmm. and he after imaged him. You remember? When he oh, pulled he out a new move, yeah, oh, no. yeah. He like tried Yo, to god hand in there, and not. he was like, I wasn't ready. I was not we ready. Brought, bloop, dropped Ooh. his ass. It was so, crazy. That was good, man. No, I think as an anime as a whole, like that, yeah, that deserves my MVP. Um, I recommend it. Definitely gave me those uh, Kuroko no Basket vibes. If you fuck with Kuroko no Basket, See, you will easily Kuroko fuck with this this, mo- this this anime. This is the shit that kills me. With sports anime, I love them, but they actually factually be ended. Like, no, yeah. that's it. Show's over. Yeah. Right. I mean, I mean, I'm, used, I'm used to do it, though. I'm used I mean, to Shonen. Like. I feel you, but you got to think about You, you get tor- by, tired of that heart, like, all the time. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just feel like, this is how I put it. Like, for not anime niggas, if you, I feel like there's a, a way to tie like certain movies to anime to me sports animes are like if you love the feeling of like remember the titans or any like redemption song movie 
any sports anime just does that over and over again. Like, that's all it is. So, you don't need... I don't need 100 episodes. I feel like at, at 100 episodes, like, I'm starting to tweak, bro. Like, all right. I get it. Because they cut it off just at the perfect moment before you're going to get sick of it getting old. Because you know, like, that... You can only reuse that, like, hype moment for them over and over again. After they made, they did their underground story, their Mighty Duck story for, like, that first tournament, like... The next tournament, I'm not expecting them to come from, like, the underground unless you bring, like, real niggas in. Like, you were like, oh, well, now they... Getting dropped by professional ass sumos, but then I'm gonna start to, you know, You're right. the formula is gonna start to get exposed. So. I just want, Le- I wanted Leapfrog to not end as a whole. Yeah, uh, I mean, he sure. did it. I guess he got uh, a trophy I, I bought, out of it. Uh, I bought fifty one percent controlling shares. <laughs> well, Leapfrog was now there. Broke. Leapfrog was there to set up. Uh, what's his face? Because what's his face got a fight that was lit to me. True. Uh, the glasses uh, homie, yeah. he entered the tournament. That nigga was like, that was hard. his his move. <laughs> so he went past his limit, right? His twenty second limit. So they that nigga was it. basically dying. So they had like a draw, and it, and at the draw, when the draw happened, he was at his limit. So he had to still like fight again, so they could do the tie break. So in the tie break, that nigga dropped him in the first five seconds. That nigga roll up. He just was like, <laughs> like it was it such was. a like a light turn and dropped this nigga. I was like, yo, he lit. Mm. He lit. His specialty is that I guess he's like the what Hidden Mar was saying is basically he's really sumoing after the twenty seconds. So mm. when he's basically about to die, so he had like this like special like demon thing that showed up in his back. It was lit, man. I so do the nigga? Did he get an eye? Yeah, he did. I think he did. When he after his twenty seconds, so, he got so, the eye. So like the last match, match almost everybody got the eye. Practically. Yeah. On the uh, main squad. Oh yeah, all the ones in the main squad besides so, maybe so, Leaf Frog. See, that's fucked up. They hold my nigga. <laughs> if you're telling me go, Joe. Yeah. Click King. I'm the weakest nigga out here for real. Actually. Yeah. Got to I, I I I have to. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna watch it. When I watch it, I'm gonna get my official rating. All right. Wow. Well, Mark will be on. Come back on if you can hear me or whatever. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh. Okay. Did you hear any of the spoilers? I call it like a little, little tiny bitch. Oh, my bad. Ooh. No, you didn't. Yeah, other MVPs. All right. Uh, um, I'm going to give it to Borderlands 3. Big oh, player. yeah. No, for real. We didn't talk about that, bro. Oh, I, that's a, that's a shooter a I'm going to cop. Guy. I'm actually going to cop that. Right. I don't is know it cross platform? Uh, so the, the rumors I've been hearing is the release date. Some niggas is theorizing that it's going to be like a secret drop, and it might drop like next week. Some people think it's like two years out. Some people think it's like two months out. No, if you look at the trailer, um, there's like a ran- there's a couple random buildings where at one of them is like a ten on it, and another ran- random building that's a one. Mm. So people are thinking that it might drop on October first, December first, which is supposed to, supposedly also uh, an anniversary. What the ten got to do with December? And I'm guessing their first game. Mm. So what does the ten have to do with December? Huh? You said 110, yeah. right? Yeah, there was a building that had a 10 and another building that had a 1 on it. Yeah, so that's January 10th that or means. October 1st. Right? Right. And the, uh, and what people are saying is that the October one makes more sense because October is supposedly the anniversary okay. for... Oh, you uh, said the wrong month because you just said December. That's why we was confused. Ah, oh, shit. My bad. My bad. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a supposedly a uh, anniversary, so I feel like we'll see. I cop it though when it drops. What? Borderlands Three. See what? I was thinking about it. I enjoyed it. Um, What's that? MVP. Borderlands Three. Yes. Oh. I got mine. Too. I put mine out. Grants put his out. Rest of y'all. Mm-hmm. I give my shit to us. Oh. 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 Okay. That's all I can think of. Because that's what I said. I'm uh I'm gonna give it to Norman. Hey. Um, I gotta get mine to own Jim Bob. Ooh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jim Bob. Uh. Own Jim Bob felt like he was a main character. And he was really a no name background guy. There you go. Rest he, in peace. B I P big He fought like a Deku. Yeah. So he thought he was a Deku, but he realized he was a tape homie mm. eventually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I might have to bring that nigga back. Damn. Nah, bro. Uh, he was Leave a great him dead. Juice, fought like a Deku, and did up as a tape homie. Yep. They just really be out here thinking they Deku's when they really tape homies, bro. First of all, don't come at Sarah. They just really be thinking they Deku. Really? 
When would they, they actually rare right? Huh? R- why? No, rare right like is actually gonna get some shine, bro. Tape homie gets no shine. Bro, here's my thing. Y'all been saying this nigga gonna get shine since motherfucking Fat Gum. Did he, he get did shit shine? since Fat Gum? <laughs> All I'm saying he is, did bro, nothing. When is season three dropping? Uh, okay, uh, yeah, he gonna get rehyped during that season. Yeah, no, he's not gonna get rehyped because we are making niggas already hyped for Red Ryan, bro. <laughs> These anime niggas don't know they that don't know. moment when he gets his little shine, bro. But what that moment right after when he that, gets these dropped, are the moments where I like the anime community's fanboyness Cause because they turn up. They, yeah, they gonna start gonna be the rock this nigga. Yeah, yeah. like now, okay, know, this is he's a, and it's gonna be the waist level, bro. That's what I want to know from y'all. Who y'all think gonna get more hype from the anime fanboys, Mirio or Red Riot? Miriam. Miriam. I, I think it's going to be Red Ryan, bro. No. If they had executed on it the way they executed in the manga, Miriam would ball. definitely have shot Red Ryan. Come on. Miriam already busted. Niggas like Rock Lee beat him up as niggas, bro. He's going to fit that niche of Rock Lee that been gone from niggas' hearts, bro. It's, it's, it's going to be him. It's got to be how it's anime, bro. Because if I can feel the punches, like the rapper punches, meaning like when you see that nigga Red Ryan getting hit, if you go like... Then I would I would argue so, the family was going to lie for him. Like if they put anime the part where he lost his powers and he was still giving nigga hands. Ooh. You know, I forgot, bro. I forgot how real that nigga Mario was. Y'all right, y'all right. That nigga said, What is the word? Me, me, me. <laughs> oh, we good. We good for that. Oh man. We don't want that nigga to smoke. All right. Never do. Well, we done. Yeah, All right. Don't be out here being Jim Bob's or tape homies, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get tape homies? Yeah. Don't be a tape homie. Oh, the nigga with the tape. Yes, yeah, is. nigga, tape on <laughs> 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 I don't know. I like, who else you think we're talking about? Oh, fuck. Oh, the tape dog. <laughs> Alright, until next time. Bye.